Okay. So. Can y'all still see me? Are y'all able to see the screen? Yes. yes. The, tour, the, the tour portion is in the chat. Uh, Hallelujah. So let's pray again. We're going to dive on in. So our tour portion this morning, y'all, praise both of y'all joining us on Zoom and also on YouTube and whatever other platform that this is going. Uh, so our tour portion this morning, you all, is Exodus uh, 32, uh, 15 uh, through uh, 34, 26, uh, and 2 Samuel twenty two ten 10 uh, through 51, and Romans 9, 14 through 16. And y'all, you know what? This I ain't, this this right here is, is uh, part of one of my best tour portions that I like to, to, to study and read because it shows me a lot. Uh, we've been doing this tour portion right here. Uh, this lesson right here, I've been doing the same lesson probably about nine years <laughs> on this tour portion because it, it's amazing. So I'm going to read Exodus. I'm going to get, uh, let's see. I'm going to get, uh, Michaela, I'm going to get you to read Second Samuel. And Isaiah, I'm going to get you to read uh, Romans 9, 14 through 16. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. We're going to dive into the scriptures. So, Almighty, we thank you. We just give you we give you uh, the esteem in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, Yah. And we just thank you for your compassion toward us and your mercy toward us. We're asking you again, Almighty, that those who hear your word, that you would transform their lives and change their minds. Let no one ever look at us as far as being glamorous or big, but let them always look at you. Even if we're the vessel, let them always put their eyes and focus and hope in you. Yah, we're all men who need you. And, and help us to understand that. Help us to walk this thing out with fear and trembling, y'all. We're never giving up but persevering and pursuing you. And at the end, after we pursue you and persevere to seek your kingdom, y'all, we'll be rewarded whatever you desire for us to be. And we thank you for whatever it is because you know what's best for us anyway. And your blessings, you said they make rich and they had no sorrow. We just give you the esteem. We thank you. And we magnify your name. Yahushua HaMashiach, we pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High Yah. <clears throat> So yeah, this tour portion. Now last week, we, last week we, we we dealt with um <clears throat> y'all talking to Moshe about um the tabernacle and building certain things inside the tabernacle and how he had given wisdom to certain men. And then the second portion was dealing with um the Shabbat and honoring the Shabbat. And that, then and then after that last portion of the Shabbat, we get to the old good gritty, the nitty gritty. They're down in the camp, y'all. Idolatry. Down in the camp, y'all made, 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 made a golden calf. And we, and we saw just, just from uh, just, just, just kind of just give a review. What, 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 what we saw demonstrated was a lack of faith. I know a lot of people always say, when well, Israel was this and that. Well, let me say this, because we're Israel. When we go through trials and tests and we lack faith, of course we sin. The scripture says, everything done outside of faith is sin. The problem is, excuse me, every man is right in their own eyesight. So we do things that we think is right at times, even though it ain't wrong. I'm excuse me, even though it's wrong. And these people, uh, they lost faith. They they gave up hope. You know, Moses had been gone and had only been gone for a few days. Now, let's try to let, let, let's try to understand the mindset and the condition of our forefathers at this moment. Without, without us being so harsh on them or so hard on them. Um, they had only been out of Egypt probably for a few months. You know, they um they 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 they, they come through the red, they, they come through the red sea, go through the wilderness, they go to where there's what 12, 12, 12 uh, wells and how many 70 palm trees. They begin to um um complain and most high appears to them and tell them, hey. Well, he responds to them and say, hey, if you obey his commandments, keep the statutes and do what he thinks is right, he won't put any of, of the afflictions or diseases upon Yashara. Well, that, that's only a couple of months after they've come out of uh, out of captivity. You know, and then um most high provides for them. A little while later, as time progresses, they um they go to another trial. This time it says they chided with Moses. 
you know, because they had no water. And they began to look at the conditions. So the thing is, the people, the people were actually responding out of fear. And they, they were responding out of fear and a lack of faith, but they were doing it because of their previous conditions. Um, he, the Most High didn't call them rebellious right here. And rebellious and stiff neck ain't the same thing. And, um, and so he called them a stiff neck people, meaning stubborn, because they were so caught up in what they wanted and how they look, and, and maybe because of their conditions. But here it is. When you begin to start seeing them, it was Moses who was the one that was really getting agitated and upset at the people doing what they're doing. Y'all was very, y'all was being patient with him. And I believe that it's the will of y'all anyway, for because the most high knew that they, that what they was gonna do in the wilderness, you know what I'm saying? For them staying in 40 years. But I believe that it was the will of y'all to be able to teach them, listen, and get certain things out of them, and also for us today to learn. So y'all sends them to, you know, he 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 gives them his word, he he's doing great things, you know. Uh, uh, in, in in their life, you know, he's giving them his Torah, you know, uh, and then Moses goes up to the mountain, and when Moses goes up to the mountain, these folk begin to trip. Man, these folk right here, man, look here, Moses go up to the mountain, these folks begin to say, this man Moses, gone. Man, we don't know where to come with him. Man, he, what? what? And then Aaron said, look here, I'll tell you what y'all do. Go and get, take your rings off and throw it into the, in, 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 in the fire. And then Aaron made a calf and he created a feast. They committed idolatry. And, and, and I want y'all to see how, how bad idolatry is. Idolatry is equivalent to adultery. Um, when a man and a woman is in a, a, a relationship, a marriage, they're in a covenant. Especially if they, they do what they're doing before the most high Yah. They're in a covenant and they said vows in front of Yah that they are expected to keep. And once that man or that woman, you know, break those vows, and we're gonna and, and we're gonna bring this out in this lesson. I'm gonna show you something. And once that man and that woman break that vow, it does something. So you're gonna see Yah respond as a man who was just had a woman who was unfaithful to him. Because Yasserah is a bride, and, 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 and so it was idolatry. And, and idolatry, it brings death, it brings pain, it severs, it causes problems. It don't just cause problems just for you. It causes problems to everyone you're involved in, and also uh, it, 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 it creates death. So that's what we had today. So we, we, we got two channels. I want y'all to look at this thing, man. This thing is deep. So we're going to read, we're going to dive into it. Let's, 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 go, let's go for the gusto. Hallelujah. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Depart and go up hence, thou and the people which thou hast brought up out of the land of Egypt, unto the land which I swear unto Abraham, to Yeshak, and to Yaquab, saying, Until I see will I give it. And I was sending the Malachim before thee, and I would drive out the Canaanite, the Amorite, the Hittite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. For I will not go up in the midst of thee, excuse me, for I will not go up in the midst of thee. For thou art a stiff-necked people, lest I consume thee in the way. Wow. And when the people heard these things, these evil, these evil tidings, they mourned and put, and, and, and no man did put on his own, his own, and no man did put on him his ornaments. For Yahuwah had said unto Moshe, say unto the children, Yasharal, you are a stiff-necked people. I will come up into the midst of thee in a moment and consume thee. Therefore, now put off thy ornaments from thee, that I may make that I may know what to do with thee. And the children of Yasharal stripped themselves of their ornaments by Mount by the Mount Horeb. And Moshe took the tabernacle and pitched it without the camp. Oh, wait a minute. I'm on the wrong. Uh, wait a minute. The Torah pushes. Wait a minute. Came. 32, right? 15, right? I started. I'm sorry, y'all. No, this ain't right. Ain't what I read early. <laughs> I skipped up a little bit. Hey, I know it. I should look at the at the at, at the, the chapter and the numbers. I'm just reading. <laughs> Thirty-three, and, and I had already read it. I said, "This ain't right." <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Just got ahead of myself. I'm really, I, mean, I am excited about the lesson, though. So listen, and it says, um, it says, and Moshe, and Moshe turned. 
and went down from the mount. And two tables, and the two tables of the testimony were in his hand. And the tables were written on both their sides, on the one side and on the other side were they written. And the, te- and, and, and the tables were the work of Elohim. And the writing was the writing of Elohim, graving upon the tables. And when Yahushua heard the noise of the camp, as they shouted, he said unto Moshe, there's a, no- there's a noise of war in the camp. Moses smart, Moses got wisdom. He said, it is not the voice of them that shout for magistrate, anybody down there winning nothing. Neither is it the voice of them that cry for being overcome. But the, but the noise of them that sing do I hear. And it came to pass as soon as he came. Y'all made him listen. Discern the difference between the noise, boy. And it came to pass as soon as he came nigh unto the camp that he saw the calf and the dance. And Moses' anger waxed hot and he cast the tables out of his hands and break them beneath the mount. And he took the calf, which they had made, and burnt in the, and burnt in the fire, burnt it in the fire, and, the, and ground it to powder, and strawed it upon the water, and made the children of Yeshurah to drink it. And Moses said unto Aaron, what did this people, what, what did this people unto thee, that thou hast brought so great a sin upon them? And Aaron said, let not, thy, let not the anger of my master wax hot. Thou knowest the people uh, that they are set to mischief. For they said, for, for, for they said unto me, make us Elohim, which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man of doubt that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what is become of him. And I said unto them, he, Aaron told the truth. And I said unto them, whosoever have any gold, let him break it off. And, and so they gave it to me. Then I cast it into the fire, and there came out this calf. He wasn't saying the calf just jumped out. He said he made it. And when Moshe saw that the people were naked, this, remember Genesis, and when Moshe saw that the people were naked, for Aaron had made them naked unto their shame among their enemies. And then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, who is on Yahuwah's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered together to the, together unto him. And he said unto them, Thus says Yahuwah, Elohim of Yasharal, every man, put every man his put every man his sword by his side and go in and out from the gate to gate throughout the camp and slay every man his brother and every man his companion and every man his neighbor. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moshe. Excuse me. And there fell of the people that day about 3,000 men. For Moshe, for Moshe had said, consecrate yourselves today to Yahuwah, even every man upon his son and upon his brother, that he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moshe said unto the people, you have seen a great sin. And now I will go up unto Yahuwah period venture, that I make atonement for your, for, for your sin. And Moses returned unto Yahuwah and said, Oh, these people have sinned a great sin and have made them Elohim of gold. Yet now, if thou will forgive their sin, man, the most high real, ain't and if, and if not, block me, I pray, I pray thee, out of thy book, which thou hast written, and Yahuwah said unto Moses, Whosoever have sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. Therefore now, go lead the people unto the place of which I have spoken unto thee. And behold, my angels shall go before thee. Nevertheless, in the day, in the day when I visit, I will visit their sin upon them. And Yahuwah plagued the people because he was mad. And Yahuwah plagued the people because they, because they made the calf which Aaron had made. He was, he was hurt. And Yahuwah said unto Moses, and Yahuwah said unto Moses, depart and go up hence. Thou and the people which thou hast brought up out of the land of Egypt, unto the land which I swear unto Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, say unto thy seed, would I give it? And I would give an angel before thee, and I would send an angel before thee, and I would drive out the Canaanite, the Amorite, the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Hivite, and the Jebusite unto a land flowing with milk and honey. For I will not go up in the midst of thee, for thou art a stiff-necked people, lest I consume thee in the way. 
And when the people heard these evil tidings, they mourned. And no man did put on him his ornaments. Let me go for Let me start right here, y'all. This, this word, evil, it, 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 it's not evil as far as wicked. It means bad news. It's Hebrew word, ra. Or ra, it means bad news. That's what it means. Calamity, displeased, not, not, not unfavorable news. So it's not, not necessarily evil. That's why the king, that, that, that's, that's a bad translation. They mourned. And no man did put on him his ornaments. For Yahuwah has said unto Moshe, say unto the children of Yasharal, you are a stiff-necked people. I will come up into the midst of thee in a moment and consume thee. Therefore now put off thy ornaments from thee that I may know what to do with thee. And the children of Yasharal stripped themselves of their ornaments by the, by the Mount of Horeb. And Moses took the tabernacle and pitched it without the camp, or far off from the camp, and called it to the tabernacle, and called it the tabernacle of the congregation. And it came to pass that everyone which sought Yahuwah went out unto the tabernacle of the congregation, which was without the camp. And it came to pass that Moses went out unto the tabernacle, that all the people rose up and stood every man in his tent door. And looked after Moses until he was gone into the tab tabernacle. And it came to pass as Moses entered into the tabernacle, the cloudy pillar descended and stood at the door of the tabernacle. And Yahuwah, Yahuwah talked with Moshe. And all the people saw the cloudy pillar stand at the tabernacle door. And all the people rose up and worshiped every man in his tent door. And Yahuwah spake unto Moshe face to face as a man speaking to his friend. And he turned again into the camp. But his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. And Moses uh, said unto the, to Yahuwah, See thou says unto me, bring up this people, and thou hast let me know whom thou was seen with me. Yet thou hast said, I, I know thee by name, and thou hast also found grace in my sight. Now therefore I pray thee, if I have found grace in your sight, show me your ways, that I may know you that I may find grace in your sight and consider that this nation is thy people, your people. And he said, my presence shall go with thee and I give you rest. And he said unto him, if thy presence go not with me, carry us not hence. For wherein shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight? Is it not in that thou goest with us? So shall we be so shall we be separated? I and thy people from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. That's the difference that Yah with us. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found grace in thy my sight. And I know thee by name. I know your character. I know you. And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy esteem. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee, and I will proclaim the name of Yahuwah before thee, and I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and I will show mercy unto whom I will show mercy. And he said, Thou canst not see my face, for there shall no man see me and live. And Yahuwah said, Behold, there is a place by me and thou shalt stand upon the rock, and it shall come to pass while my esteem passeth by, that I will put thee in the cleft of the rock, and will cover thee with my hand while I pass by. And I will take away my hand, and thou shalt see my back parts, but my face shall not be seen. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Hew thee two tables of stone like unto the first, and I will write upon these tables the words that were in the first tables, which thou breakest. And be ready in the morning and come up in the morning unto Mount Sinai and present thyself there to me in the top of the mount. Come up here and get him. And no man shall come up with thee. Neither let any man be seen throughout all the mount. Neither let the flocks or no herds feed before that mount. And he hewed. What verse do I stop at? 26. 26. And he, and he, and he hewed two tables of stone like unto the first, and Moses rose up early in the morning and went up into the mount, uh, 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 unto Mount Sinai. 
as Yahuwah had commanded him. And he took in his hand uh, the two tables of stone. And Yahuwah descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of Yahuwah. And Yahuwah passed by before him and proclaimed Yahuwah. Yahuwah Elohim, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, that, that, and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's but children until the third and fourth generation. And Moses made haste and bowed his head toward the earth and worship. And he said, if, if now I have found grace in thy sight, O Yahuwah, my master, I pray thee, go among us, for it is a stiff-necked people, and pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for thine inheritance. Man. And he said, behold, I make a covenant before all the people, all thy people, and I will do marvels as have not been done in all the earth, nor in any nation. And all the people among which thou art shall see the work of Yahuwah. For it is an awesome thing, a terrible thing that I will do with thee. You know what that word awesome means? It means terrible. I mean, it, 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 don't, it, don't, it doesn't mean terrible, it's, it's dreadful. It means just, let me just look it up because I want y'all. It's Yah Ray. It's fearful. It's, 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 it's gonna cause you to reverence Yah, based on the, the, the this, 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 the wonders and the marvelous acts that He does. Um, it's gonna blow your mind. Uh, for it is a terrible thing that I would do with thee. Observe thou that which I command thee this day. <clears throat> Look, I drive out before thee the Emirate and the Canaanite and the Hittite and the Perizzite and the Hivite and the Jebusite. Take heed to thyself. Take heed to thyself, lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land. Where thou goest, lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee. But you shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves. For thou shalt worship no other Elohim. For Yahuwah, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous El. Lest, lest thou make a covenant with, with the inhabitants of the land, and they go a-whoring after the Elohim, and do sacrifice unto the Elohim, and shall call thee, and thou shalt eat of his sacrifice. And thou shalt take of their daughters unto thy sons, and thy daughters go a whoring after their Elohim, Elohim, and make thy sons go a whoring after the Elohim. Thou shalt make thee no molten Elohim, almighty ones. These are the feasts right here. That's why y'all bring the feast because they made the feast. Thou shalt make no mote Elohim. The feast of unleavened bread shall thou keep. Seven days shall thou eat unleavened bread. As I commanded thee in the time of the month of Bee. For in the month of Bee thou camest out of Egypt. All that opened the matrix is mine. And every firstling, I'm yours. And every firstling among thy cattle, whether ox or sheep that is male. But the firstling of an ass thou shalt redeem with the lamb. And if thou redeem him not, then shalt thou break his neck. All the firstborn of thy sons shall thou shalt redeem, and none shall appear before me empty. Six days shall six days thou shalt work, but on the seventh day thou shalt rest. In, in, in earing time and in harvest, thou shalt rest. And thou shalt observe the feast of weeks of the first fruit of wheat harvest and the feast of ingathering of the year's end. Thrice in the year shall all your men, your men and children appear before, before Yahuwah Elohim, excuse me, before the master Yahuwah, the Elohim of Yasharal. For I will cast out the nations before thee and, and enlarge thy borders. Neither shall any man desire thy land. When thou shalt go up to appear before Yahuwah, thy El thrice in the year. Thou shalt not offer 
that means they can leave that land and y'all gonna protect it. Thou shall not offer the blood of thy sacrifice. This thing changed change up. Thou shall not offer the blood of, thy, of, of my sacrifice with leaven. No sin. Neither shall thou sacrifice, neither shall the sacrifice of the feast of the Passover be left until the morning. The first of the first fruit of thy land thou shalt bring unto the house of Yahuwah's thy El. Thou shalt not seek a kid in his mother's milk. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. What we got? First Samuel or second Samuel? Second Samuel. So we got second Samuel um, uh, 22, 10 through 51. Yes, sir. Let me let me pull it up right quick. That was a good read, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I want to love. Yeah, I want to be saved. Yeah, ain't no way you can't say that the Most High don't talk about the feast throughout the Scripture. How you bringing it up all ways? Everybody talking. Well, we ain't got to do it in the land. They still ain't in the land keeping the feast. I don't know where we get that from. Oh, I got where we got it from. We gonna read. What 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 um what what what, what chapter, Michaela? Uh, verse. All right, chapter starting at ten. So what fun fact? Spit it out to me. Let me hear that. Oh yeah, twice. right. Mm. Go ahead, Michaela. He bowed. He bowed the heavens also and came down, and darkness was under his feet, and he rode upon a cherub and did fly, and he was seen upon the wings of the wind, and he made darkness pavilions round about him, dark waters and thick clouds of the sky. Mm. Through the brightness before him were coals of fire kindled. Yahuwah thundered from heaven, and the Most High uttered his voice. He sent out arrows and scattered them, lightning and, dis and discomfited them. And the channels of the sea appeared. The foundations of the world were discovered at the rebuking of Yahuwah, at the blast of the breath of his nostrils. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy and from them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but Yahuwah was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. Yahuwah rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of Yahuwah and have not wickedly departed from my El. Hallelujah. For all his judgments were before me. And as, and as for his statues, I did not depart from them. I was also upright before him and have kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore, Yahuwah hath recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my clean, cleanliness, cleaning, I can't say it, y'all. Cleanliness, cleanliness, <laughs> my dear. His eyesight. <laughs> with the merciful, thou wilt show thy merciful, and with upright man, thou wilt show thyself upright. Most high solid. With the pure, thou wilt show thyself pure. Mm -hmm. With the fraud, Thou will thou will show thyself unsavory, and the afflicted people thou will save. But thine eyes are upon the, the haughty, that thou mayest bring them down. For thou art my lamp, O Yahuwah, and Yahuwah will lighten my darkness. For by thee I have run through a troop; by my L have I leaped over a wall. As for as for Elohim, or Yah, his ways is perfect. Mm -hmm. The word of Yahuwah is tried. He is a buckler to all them that trust in him. Hallelujah. For who is Elohim? Save, Yahuwah. save Yahuwah. And who is a rock? Save our El. Yah is my strength and power, and he maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like, like hen's feet or hinds feet, and setteth me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, 
so that my feet did not slip. Mm. I have pursued my enemies and destroyed them and turned not again until I had consumed them. And, and I have consumed them and wounded them that they could not arise. Yea, they are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength to battle. Them that rose up against me hast thou subdued under, under me. Thou hast, thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They looked, but there was none to save, even unto Yahuwah, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them as small as the dust of the earth. I did stamp them as the mirror of the street and did spread them abroad. Thou also hast delivered me from the strivings of my people. Thou hast kept me to be head of the heathen. A people which I knew not shall serve me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. As soon as they hear, they shall be obedient unto me. Strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their close places. Yahuwah I live it, and blessed be my rock, and exalted be thy El of the rock of my salvation. It is Yahuwah that avengeth me, and that bringeth down the people under me, and that bringeth me forth from my enemies. Thou also hast lifted me up on high above them that rose up against me, that hast delivered me from the violent, the violent man. Therefore, I will give thanks unto thee, O Yahuwah, among the heathen, and I will sing praises unto thy name. Yeah. He is the tower of, of salvation for his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, unto David, and to his seed forevermore. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise I Lord. love Second Samuel. Yeah, that, 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 that was a beautiful portrait. Where, where, where we're going now? Oh, as long as not. I want to be saved. <laughs> What, what verse? 14 through 16. Romans 9, 14 to 16. All right. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with Yah? Mm -hmm. Yah forbid. So. No, I, I was just being there. Yeah. For he says to Moshe, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that wills, nor of him that runs, but of Yah that shows mercy. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. It, it's interesting read. I know what to say. Interesting read. So, man, we think we got so much in this, in this list. It's going to be good. So, we're going to go to Exodus 32, uh, start at verse 15. The golden calf. Man, they, these folks went to the law of their mind, y'all. Look at something. So Moses, so so most house, most house said, "What's that, <laughs> man? Look here, <laughs> get on down there." These folks have been flipped, and Moses went down. What verse started? First, 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 verse fifteen, right? And so Moses go, and Moses goes down. Look here, these people. I gotta take this thing. Oh, I'm hot. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all gotta just endure. It is hot. Um. So Moses turned and went down from the mount. And um and uh and the two tables of the testimony were in his hand, and the tables were written on both of their sides, on the side on one side and on the other side they were written. And look here now, and the tables were the work of Elohim, and the writing was the writing of Elohim, graven upon the tables. Now, 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 remember now what's going on. Send the scene. This is Shavu Oak that had just happened previously. Uh, Moses had been gone about four days on that mountain. So a little over a month or so uh, in, in the past, they had just received the 10 words of Yah. Yah says, I am Yahoo while you're Elohim who have brought you out of the house of Mizraim. Remember? Those are the 10 words, the 10, the 10 uh words in the wilderness, the, the 10 D bar in the meat bar, the 10 words in the wilderness. The 10 commandments, Yah did not give them 10 commandments, he gave them 10 words. And everything springs from these 10 words. Tradition says. That you have the Torah is 613 laws. That's a lie. The Torah is Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Leviticus, and Deuteronomy. And, and that's the lies of Abraham. Then there, there are laws that consist in that, but that's not all what the Torah is. And the Torah does not, there's no way in the Bible 
that you're going to read of how to do a sacrifice. It's not in the scriptures whatsoever. Uh, but but the problem is everybody wants to give their opinion about something without reading the scripture. We're going to give you the scripture today. So this is uh, the most high wrote, wrote, wrote this, y'all. It says, and the tables were the work of Elohim, and the writing was the writing of Elohim, graven upon the tables. So y'all had wrote them words that he had spoken to them and, and gave it to Moshe. And when, and when Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said to Moses, there's a noise and war in the camp. Because Joshua couldn't, Joshua's mind wasn't thinking about, you know what I'm saying, them down there uh, doing that. Because Joshua received the same word they received. But they down there playing. Yeah, going to whore, they just straight, straight or straight. And most said, man, no, nah, anybody that now. Most said, most said, no, nah. I don't hear nobody down there winning nothing. No, ma ma mastery means they're mastery, they're overcoming, they're winning. Gebarau, they're they 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 they're, 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 um, they 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 doing their thing, Jack. He said, no, nah, they ain't doing that. It like don't sound like nobody winning nothing. You know what I'm saying? And then he says, um. And, it is, and, and, and neither it is the voice of them that cry for being overcome. But the noise of them that sing do I hear. And, and, and that's what I'm bringing out some, this, we need to learn how to have discernment when we hear stuff. And we see things going on. Learn how to decipher and know the difference. So we won't make bad decisions. Praise the most high for Moses having the wisdom and y'all speaking to him to understand what's really going on. So Joshua can see. But I want to bring something out to y'all right here. It says, and it came to pass as soon as he came, came nigh until the camp, that he saw the calf and the dancing. And Moses' anger waxed hot. And he cast the tables out of their hands and break them beneath the mount. And he took the calf. And he took the calf, which they had made. And he took the calf, which they had made, and burnt it in the fire and ground it to powder and strawed it upon the waters and made the children that's around to drink it. Now, when you look at this, this, this is something that y'all did. The reason that what the Bible Most High did this was to declare who was unfaithful and who was faithful. Because when by the time Moses probably got down to camp, people was probably denying what was going on. And you had a whole lot of folks down there, but everybody was not doing wrong. So what y'all did was this. He gave a, uh, uh, and when you look at numbers, it's, 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 it's um spirit of jealousy comes over a man. And so they had to go to the priest. Let, let's read something. And Yahuwah spake unto Moses, saying, speaking to the children of Yahshirah, and say unto them, if any man's wife go aside and commit a trespass against him, and a man lie with her carnally, and he be hid from the eyes of her husband, and be kept close, and she be defiled, and there be no witnesses against her, neither shall neither she be taken taken with, 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 with the manner. And the spirit of jealousy come up on him, and he be jealous of his wife, and she be defiled. Or if the spirit of jealousy come up on him, and he be jealous of his wife, and she be not defiled. Now, not jealous of his wife as far as like being jealous of her, but being jealous from the standpoint that she belongs to him and somebody else. Is involved with him. It, 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 if, if, if that comes up on him and she be defiled, then that man shall bring his wife unto the priest, and he shall bring and, and, and he shall bring her offering for her, the tenth part of an ephah and a barley meal, and, and he shall pour no oil upon it, nor put fragrances thereon. For it is an offering of jealousy, an offering of memorial, bringing iniquity to remembrance. And the priest shall bring her near and set her before Yahuwah. And the priest shall take the set-apart water in an earthen vessel and of the dust that is in the floor of the tabernacle, and the priest shall put it in the water. And the priest shall set the woman before Yahuwah and uncover the woman's head and put the offering of memorial in her hands, which is the jealousy offering. And the priest shall have it in his hand and the bitter waters that caused the curse. Now, that he gonna do this, and she gotta make a vow. And the priest shall charge her by an oath, or an oath, and say unto the woman, if no man have lain with thee, and if thou hast not gone aside to uncleanliness with another instead of thy husband, be thou free from this bitter water, that the curses, that causes the curse. But if thou hast gone, 
aside to another instead of thy husband, and if thou be defiled, and some man have lain with thee beside thine husband, then the priest shall charge the woman with an oath of the cursing, and the priest shall say unto the woman, Yahuwah make thee a curse and an oath among thy people, and when Yahuwah do make thy thigh to, and, and when Yahuwah do make thy thigh to rot, and thy belly to swell, and this water that causes the curse shall go into the bowels that make the belly to swell, and the thighs to rot. Mm. And the woman shall say, Amen, Amen. And she's going to agree to that. And the priest shall write these curses in the book, and he shall blot them out with the bitter water. And then they'll cause them to drink. So this, 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 right, this, this right here, you all, is what Moses did. So, so when Moses came off the mountain, let's go into this chapter. So when Moses came off the mountain and, uh, and saw this, that's what he did. He comes down there. He saw he saw what they'd done. Um, and he done the same thing because his anger was something. Because Moses Moses' anger waxed hot. Moses could not, with his own eyes, identify every individual down there. And I'm pretty sure that when he got back down there, some people denied doing that. Now it wasn't me. You know how we get. And he and it came to pass as soon as he came nigh unto the camp that he saw the calf. That's what it said. And the dancing. That's all he saw. He don't know who was doing everything. He 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 knows some people down there. He know Aaron was over there. He probably knew a couple more folks. Um, and he and, and, and he cast the table of his tablet. He cast the tables out of his hands and break them beneath the mount. And, 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 and he took the calf, which he had made, he put it in the fire, burned it when it got hard, he broke it up and ground it to powder. He strung it up on the water and made the children of Yasharal to drink it. Everybody drunk it. And then he did with Aaron. And when Moses got started with Aaron, he said, and Moses said unto Aaron, what did this people unto thee that thou has brought so good a sin upon them. Because they broke, because what they did was they broke covenant and, 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 and they committed idolatry because of the word that was given to them. I am your who your Elohim, who have brought you out of the land of Misraim, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other Elohim before me. Right? Also, in that same covenant, he says. You shall have, you shall not have anything that represents me in the Shemayim, under the earth or in the earth. They committed idolatry. That's why Christianity and Islam and Judaism is idolatry. You got a six-point star when it comes to the Jewish <coughs> folks, the Yasharal, Israel, the Torah. That's idolatry. Ain't no such thing as David's star. You ain't gonna find nowhere in the scripture. Um, yeah, the seal of Saba ain't David's star. And Solomon ain't got no star either. If you got a seal, it don't mean nothing but a seal with a signature. It's gone when he gone. As well as Christianity. And so the, the cross, the cross. Everybody say, you got to follow the foot of the cross. I ain't going to follow no foot of the cross. What I will do is humble myself before the Most High Yah. Acknowledge his son, Yahushua, as my master, and turn from my sins and walk after his ways. But I'm definitely going to follow no foot of no cross. Matter of fact, I burn a cross. I don't care about nobody no cross. He went on the cross like that, like that anyway. White folks told you that. Your slave master. Not trying to put it on white people. I'm just being your slave master. It's the one who told you that. He was on the stake. His hands was prodded up like this right here. But we commit idolatry because we, we got to have a visual aid to give us faith. When the scripture clearly kill, kill tells us that we walk by faith and not by sight. You know, uh, but that's what they did. So they, 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 they made a calf. And in them making that calf, y'all, they call that calf Yah. I want y'all to see something because I don't think folks be looking. We call because what we do, we use idolatry and we call our same idolatry Yah. And you gotta be able to see the pattern. They call that Yah. Let's look at this. Let me show you something.
And they have oh, that was on TV. Excuse me, y'all. Uh, so anyway, until, until we get you know, um, that situated, they have turned aside. I thought he was on the whole time. I bet y'all. Um, they have turned aside quickly. Let's go back down here. Right here. And all the people break off their golden earrings, which were brought. This is why, why y'all brought the feast back up. Everybody be trying to be deep. This is why y'all brought the feast back up. And all the people break off. That's why it's not good for us to make our own feast or our own holidays. We have no authority to make no holiday, no feast. Y'all are the one who make the feast. And all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought it unto Aaron. Not Aaron Cunningham, he my brother, you know, but Aaron Moses' brother. And he received them at their hand. And fashioned and fa and, 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 and fashioned it with a graving tool. And he made it with a and he made it a molding calf. And he made and he made and he made it a mold a, a molten calf, and they said these and, and, and they said these be thy mighty ones, O Yasharal. These be thy Elohim. That's what they said. Which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. That calf. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar, a place of sacrifice, unauthorized. Look at the religion in that. And, and made a proclamation and said, tomorrow is a feast to Yahuwah. Look. So guess what? He's not talking about Yah. He said, "What this calf he made? They gave that calf Yah's authority. Called that calf Yah's name. Said it was Yah. And we're gonna celebrate Yah tomorrow. That's how we do in Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and every other religion." We make up our own holidays, our own religious sex, and think it's Yah, and think it's okay. It's idolatry. And they rose early, early on the morrow, and guess what? Offered burnt offerings, and brought peace offerings, and sat down to eat and drink, and, and, and rose up to play. They begin to get right. They begin to have sex and just get drunk and all kind of stuff. We could, let, we, we, we could do that. We could do that. That one in a minute. That's why they was naked to their shame. They, they had no covering no more. Anyway, and Yahuwah tell he told Moses, "Get on down there. You need to get on down there because these people have corrupted themselves." And when Moses get on down there, all of a sudden they said, "Man, we won't, it wasn't me. It wasn't me." I ain't do it. Right. And he, he, he said it wasn't me. So Moses come down. Mo, 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 Moses is gonna come on that. Come on down there. And, Mo, and when Moses come down there, he, what he do? He did the numbers five thing. Why? What? What? What are y'all saying? What? What are y'all saying? Is what we just read. My name is what? No. After they cheated on him, he said, "My name is jealous, and I'm a jealous ale." Because we belong to Yah. And the spirit of jealousy came on Yah. And even though Yah see who knows what's going on, Moses got to take out the situation. So Moses made them to drink. But, just, but this right here was not just the women. This is Yah's bride, his, his family. It was men and women. And everybody that said they didn't do it was exposed. Their thighs started to rot. They started, they started to show 
physical effects of the water they drink. Let's look at it. It says, um, it says, um, and Moses said unto Abraham and to Aaron, well, he he tells them, and he took he, he took the calf which they had. Go ahead, man. Have your question for us. Uh, the spirit, of, the spirit of jealousy. Um, I guess like sometimes maybe your wife has done something, and you actually have no idea. Mm -hmm. Maybe y'all together and you discern that something is different. Mm -hmm. So I guess is is there there's there can be more than one instance in which because you can know or maybe just have not seen it. Mm -hmm. but you may not have known at all. And like the spirit of you can discern right. actually came upon you. Right. So is that is that what that's yes. Yes, because now they can't hear you. You want me to say it again? Yes. Okay. Um I was asking about the spirit of jealousy. Like for example, you have no idea that your spouse has done anything, but y'all are together, maybe talking stuff. I don't know, and, but you discern something different. You know, it's not the same. And something I, different, right? And I, I, I'm guessing that if you have a relationship with y'all, was supposed to, you be able to discern something like that. So then you go and you do. You, you, this, you, you, you this. yeah. And and and, and the most high, the most high was to respond. Just for, let's, I see him and Kayla. Just for example, you know, I use myself for an example. Uh, I used to, years ago, it's been a long time, but I used to watch, um, I watched porn, you know, and uh, I shouldn't have been watching it, but I would sneak and be trying to watch it, you know what I'm saying? And my wife, she would know some, she would know something, but she really couldn't pinpoint the issue. But she would say certain things, because that was y'all probably using her to hey something ain't right, and even though through my refusal and my denial, I said no, 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 I don't do that. Well, eventually she caught me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the Most High will bring it out. You know, it just got to be through um, faith and patience. Uh, you you got to also have discernment, and you got to also know the difference. Uh, in today's time, people want to call it insecurities, but it's, it, it's not always insecurities. It's, 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 it's jealousy. You don't want nobody else having what's yours. And some men can be jealous, you know, for nothing. That's why they call it insecurities. That's why y'all specifically brought it out if he's jealous, but his wife had not done anything. Or if she had, you know what I'm saying? Well, he'll, he will figure the, 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 the situation now he will he did right here he showed moses you 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 had you had a whole nation probably millions of people but only three thousand were killed but the other ones had a plague and, and and there's a curse that comes from idolatry there's a curse that comes behind that and that's what happened to them that's why they was exposed so uh when he made them to drink the, the water then they they begin to show signs, you know, of uh, hey, it was me. And then he he took he took call to action next. Uh, go ahead with your, with your, with your, with your go ahead with your uh uh with, with your first. Go 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 ahead with your question, Michaela. Um, I had wanted to say something that I seen in this was you know how the most I say he's all knowing. Mm -hmm. And even though we individually work on our own personal relationship, he see everything that go on. Even he could be talking to you, but also he could be talking to me. <laughs> so it, it, it goes to show that he sees everything. And he also knows the intentions of people, what people do too. So it's crazy to say that the most high can't see what, what I'm doing and you doing at the same time, because if that's the case, how would he know that these folks was doing or committing idolatry? And right. that's just something that was brought out to me, um, just knowing that the most high see, he see everything, but he put us in a position to be able to have discernment, to be able to see what he's seeing also, so that you know we can correct it and get it in line. So that that's just something I've seen in it. Right. Now, I want y'all to say, go ahead, Elizabeth. I was just going to say, kind of along the lines of what Michaela's thoughts were, you see where y'all's grace is always extended. 
can give you the benefit of the doubt. And what I I've all what I'm learning to see is how y'all want you to just be willful. See, he wouldn't have to put them through the test if they would have just stood up and said, I did it, but everybody wanted this home, their part they did in it. Because it's amongst the multitude. How he don't know. The number don't, y'all made us. So regardless to being in a mixed multitude, he chose us out of a multitude of nations. Mm -hmm. He did he kept refining his will. Right. From numbers. You look at numbers, you see what is brought up here. You even see it, I, I even see it with the woman at the well, your accusers, and, and how you who should um well that situation and the woman at the well, thinking of how he needed witnesses. Right. When his witnesses came through those the the the, the water that was made, and it says, Yah gonna go prove you because you're not telling me the truth. Right. And Yahushua, so he kept bringing it up. Right. And he gives us the opportunity to be willful. And, and I think that's amazing that he, even in his jealousy, even in his testing, he still gives us the opportunity to be truthful right. because he already knows. Right. So. Right. Uh, right. That's good. That's true. I see in a second. Let me just respond. Um, so I'm gonna lose my train of thought. So that, that's good. What, what, what both said. The more, the, the, you 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 have the opportunity. I want you to see the difference between Aaron and and, and the children of Yisrael and and right because here it is. The the woman, if a, a woman's husband or even a man, uh, the wife, whatever. But, but the number said want the man. So if the, if the husband has a spirit of jealousy. That comes upon him because of what he thinks or feels or discern from his wife, and he goes to his wife. Excuse me, and um and addresses that she still has the opportunity to repent and confess it. The thing is, they only go to the priest when she denies it. So when she denies it, now it's time for y'all to decide who's lying. And you make a vow, he said, your thigh going right. You're going to start stinking. Thigh right. right. You're going to stink down there and lead. I, I guess it's uh, eczema. <laughs> the deep itch. <laughs> no. uh, <laughs> you know, or, you know, then some of this. So, 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 so the, the, the person has, they have the, uh, they have, they, they have the, uh, the, um, the opportunity to repent. Look at this. I want y'all to see something. Everything that we look at in the New Testament springs from the Torah. Look at this. They, 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 they plan. It says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. They lied. They, they did deceive themselves. They had a calf. They dancing. They had their, their freaky deaky doing a thing. For a number of days. For a number of days. And then Moses go down there. We ain't did nothing. Moses didn't come out of the mountain in 10 minutes. <coughs> and if we confess our sins, guess what? He is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us, our sins, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let me show y'all something. Because why didn't Aaron die? He was the one that did it. That made the calf. So why did he not die? Because everybody wants to say, y'all is mean and wicked and, and, and the God of, of the Old Testament. They, they crazy. Told the he told the truth. He didn't say no calf. He, 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 he told Moses that he made the calf. What he told Moses. When he said the calf just jumped out, he said the calf just, he made the calf. You know, if you were alive, Moses would have dressed that as well. You know what I'm saying? I think y'all has more wisdom than that. Um, so, um, And right here it says, and Moses said unto Aaron, uh, uh, and Moses said unto Aaron, what did this people unto thee? That thou has brought them so great a sin, that thou has brought so great a sin upon them. And Aaron just told the truth. Aaron said, let not, thy, let not the anger of my master wax hot. 
he repented, he humbled himself. Thou knowest the people that they are, that they are, uh, thou knowest the people that they are set on mischief. And that's the truth. They came to him with that. For they said unto me, make us Elohim, which shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we want not what has become of him. And I said unto them, whoever have any gold, he did. Truly, bring your ring. Whoever have any gold, let them break it off. So they gave it to me. Then I cast into the fire, and there came out this calf. So guess what? Aaron told the truth. If Aaron would have lied, I believe he would have to drink, drink the same water. And the thing is, we have the opportunity to always be honest before the Most High. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, the truth sets you free. It, it, it'll help you escape from death. You know, uh, I, and I'm going to go to John 8 on that in a minute, but about the one, about the, we'll go in a second. But, but the thing is, he told the truth. And because of that, his life was spared. It's not y'all's where the enemy man should perish. Y'all does not have a desire to kill no one. The only time you're going to have a problem with the most high is when you're in denial and you don't want to deal with that. Then he's going to deal with you. But you better understand something real clear right now. The most high don't deal with his children and his friends like he does his enemies. You can't confuse that. He's, we're gonna go through the great. We're gonna go. We're gonna go through the, the great tribulation. We're gonna go through. Tri yes, we are. But guess what? We ain't gonna experience like the world gonna experience it because Yah does not treat his children like his enemies. He's not harsh. We so we we, we walk so much in fear. We think, oh, it's going no. Who on this line dead from COVID-19? Nobody. I guarantee you a few y'all ahead, you still alive. And you got and you and you you hear this real talk because of the mercies of y'all. It is simple so they need to know y'all died quick from COVID. You can't always look at the uh um the outside of something to make a decision on that. You gotta be able to understand the real truth behind every situation. Aaron told the truth. Aaron told the truth. Look here. And when Moses saw that the people were naked, for Aaron had made them naked unto their shame among their enemies. Let me help y'all understand something. We'll get Isaiah's coming. Uh, which one? Naked. The, 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 the Hebrew for naked is para. A para uh, it means they're exposed, uh, bare. It has absolved, absolved, begin, and void, but this right here means they was exposed. They was uncovered. They was in a bad state. Let me help you understand something. When the Most High had created Hava, Adam and Hava, he did something. He put back on Abraham. We just read this in Genesis, uh, not Genesis, but, but we just read this in, um, in uh, Scripture, how y'all said, when you come to me, to the priest, I will, uh, no man would desire your land. Because y'all, it's through our obedience that we have protection. Look at this. And they were both naked. The man, this is Genesis 2.25. And they were both naked. The man and his wife and were not ashamed. What's, what's going on right here? Adam and them hadn't seen they had y'all's complete protection, y'all's complete covering. They were not exposed to anything, regardless of what's going on around them, regardless to what was happening. They were not exposed to anything that can come corrupt them, that, 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 that they can take from them, that can cause harm to them. Why? Because the Most High had them covered. Because he was, because he is their covering. But the moment when Aaron did what he did. And they committed idolatry, the most high no longer was their covering. Who was their covering? Their calf. Their calf. They call their calf their covering. Those are two different words, different words for naked. The one in Genesis H6144, I believe, or 674. 
two different words. Look at it. Look at it. You know what I'm saying? Naked and new. Let's look at this word. They were not destroyed. They were not disappointed. They was not shamed. They was not confused. There was nothing been able to happen to them. So let, let's not focus on the word naked. Let's focus on the word ashamed. Yeah. Right. To their shame, they don't have a shame. But look, they were they they, they 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 became hostile. They became scornful. They became they they became some completely different than what they were. They was covered until then. Until this. So even though it's two different words, you still got to look at the context and you still got to be able to see what has happened, what's going on. They became uncovered. They became exposed. They became... Um, in, in 8, 6, 5, 4, 4, it is still uncovered. Right. So you... you they became... They, 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 they had... They, they became vulnerable. You know, let me say this. Same thing when it comes to us, doing sin, doing wrong, going astray. We're exposed. We open ourselves up to attack and defeat once we involve ourselves into sin. And this, and this is what happened to our forefathers right here. And when Moses saw that, and when Moses saw that the people were naked, for Aaron had made them naked unto their shame among their enemies. So that's that 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 that's the that's the key. They gave access to the adversary to come in through their disobedience. Because like many of us, we do the same thing. When it comes down to uh, when it comes down to us having faith and learning how to have patience and learning how to wait upon Yah, when we don't have faith and we don't have patience and we don't we don't wait upon Yah, we move ahead of time. We move, we move too far, too fast, too soon, and we and we make bad decisions that exposes us to shame. Be only through our disobedience. But as long as we're walking in the obedience of Yah and doing the things of Yah, we're always covered and never had to be ashamed. The moment you become, I want y'all to see something, then we'll get uh, Isaiah's thing. Because um, the, 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 moment, the moment that you uh, begin to um, do these things, it's the same result. It's, 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 it's the same result as uh, Hava, even Hava. He realized he was exposed through his own disobedience. And so when Moses came to him saying, Yahuwah, Elohim called unto Adam and said unto him, where art thou? What Adam said, he said, I heard thy voice in the garden and I was afraid, fear, fear creeped in. What happened with the children of Yasharal? They, they denied it. And Aaron, they denied it. Aaron humbled himself, look at me, you know, you know, you know, you know these folks. They did not. Fear creeped in. They wanted to hide. He said, and I was afraid because I was what? I was naked. And I hid myself. And the most high, the most high had them covered. He had them protected. How you exposed? He, he said to him, he said, who told you you was naked? He, he, see, you can't be in the flesh on this. He wasn't, saying who he, he wasn't saying, who told you you ain't got no clothes on you? He really said to him, who told you I ain't got your back? Who told you that you were exposed? You had no protection. Who told you this? Then he responded, wherefore I could, 
or uh, has thou eaten of the tree? Have you done the opposite of what I've said? You walked out of faith. You did something completely opposite. So now you're exposed. And that's when the curse came. That's when the punishment came. That's when the judgment came. Why? Because of disobedience. And look at the, and look at the pattern. Adam refused to take moral responsibility for his actions. He didn't repent. He didn't ask y'all to forgive him. He didn't say that he was wrong. I have never seen the Bible, never seen the Bible, anybody who comes to y'all broken with a country heart, he has turned away. I've never seen that. I've seen in the Bible, anybody that comes to y'all repenting with a broken heart, he receives. His word even says he won't even despise a broken heart or a country spirit. So this ain't got nothing to do with the most high. Yeah, 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 yeah. <coughs> Y'all is not judging Adam because <coughs> Y'all is not necessarily judging Adam per se because what Adam did right here. Y'all is judging Adam because Adam didn't repent. And when Y'all had said that's a shoot or die, it wasn't that he said he was going to kill Adam. I'm going to kill him when you do it. It's that he knew that Adam wasn't going to repent. Just like he knew that Pharaoh was going to harden his heart. So just, just like he know like he knew this situation, that the children of Israel, that them 3,000 people that were doing that was not going to repent. And so he responds to you accordingly. And he gives examples to everybody and make you one, whether you're obedient or disobedient, you got to choose the kind of example you want to be. So go ahead, Isaiah and Michaela. Um, I just want to bring to y'all how y'all keeps his word about heaven and earth be called as a witness against Yasharel, though Moshe was not necessarily down there when everything happened. Well, when he came down there, he saw some stuff and maybe people were, were denying it. And when he ground everything, he ground it up into powder and it made him drink it. And we look at numbers five, it was the water. It was the, powder, the stuff in the water that re revealed the innards of that person. Mm. So it's the most high calling heaven and earth against us. So we cannot escape the judgment of Yah. So it just goes to show that we have to be honest in everything we do. He even mentions how the land will spew people out right. because of what people do. And if right. the land can spew you out, this is, you gotta remember, this is the most highest creation. The, if the water, he, he makes the water do that to you to reveal your inwards. If you, if you being honest or if you're being a liar, if you're being deceptive or if you're being truthful. So I'll just, kind of awestruck about that how he just keeps his word and just a uh, cycle of his word calling heaven right. and earth because water because we can't necessarily take water without the commandment of Yah. Yah commanded that that's why it does that we can't just take it on ourselves and try to do it Yah has yeah, to reveal you just water up and you're gonna make it like that <laughs> right no, that, that's the judgment of Yah. Yah did that right. and like right. you brought out the numbers he ground that stuff down, ground powder, and made the children of Yasharel drink. That this, this stuff in, not in the scriptures for no reason. This is just not haphazard why Moshe did this. It, it's not. It can't be. Because it's written. So it just goes to show how the most high keeps his word. And we gotta be honest, because we can't you can't escape Yah. He would talk about everybody naked in front of Yah. You can't escape them, regardless of what you do. And it goes to show how they were found out because you cannot escape Yah. Also, by the next elder comment, when Moshe broke those tablets, his anger waxed hot because he was just in the presence of Yah. The anger that he felt was Yah's anger because what did Yah just tell Moshe? I'm going to kill everybody down there. And people try to be religious. Oh, Moshe, he broke the tablets. Well, Yahshua broke the covenant. When Moshe threw it out of what we may see if, uh, off of the cuff, that was the anger that he felt because Yah gave him that anger. He truly was close to Yah because he broke it again and Yah made another, another, more tablets, okay. another set. So it goes to show that, dang, Yahshua broke this covenant already. Right. And guess where? And they made the covenant where? At the foot of the mountain. Okay, where was the covenant broken? At the foot of the mountain. Where did he break the stones at? At the foot of the mountain. So it just goes who, back. Who, who, broke, who broke the covenant? Yahshua. And so when so when Moses threw down threw down the uh, the the, uh, 
the tablets is because y'all brought the covenant, right? Right, it was rightfully so. Y'all made this covenant here at the foot of the mountain. You broke it at the foot of the mountain. I'm about to break it out because y'all did. What, 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 what was what, what was on them tablets? The ten words. What y'all inscribed on? Right. The, the, the covenant. The, the covenant that he was about to bring to Yasharel, just in writing. They already heard it. He brought it, put it in writing, but they broke it. It's like, nah, now nah, we got to redo it because y'all couldn't hold yourself. Right. Right. We try to call y'all. Ain't people? People be we try to be religious. No, they broke that covenant at the mountain, and Moshe deal with right because that, that righteous anger because he was in the presence of Yah, like David. When he said that man ought to be killed, he felt the anger that Yah felt against him. That's why he got that remorse. That's probably why Aaron had that remorse because he understood, dang, Yah mad at me. And what did he say to Moshe? Please don't let your anger wax out against uh, your servant. Because he knew it wasn't Moshe. He knew it was Yah who had a problem with Aaron because Aaron, you the high priest. You led these people astray. Right. He would be trying to say, oh, it's the people. No, it'd be Yah. <laughs> Because right. he revealed to uh, Moshe, it's not a, a cry of war. It's a cry of people singing and dancing, partying and sinning. Right. But that's it. I just wanted to, it was just amazing to me how y'all just bring everything full circle. Right. That's good. Can, can y'all see me? Yes. That's good. I, Isaiah, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. That uh, some of the stuff you had said, because that's that's that, 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 that's what I, my um, next scripture I was gonna use. Can y'all still see my screen? Yes. What do y'all see the, the the internet or the YouTube? I can't. I see John. No, we we see John eight and thirty. I'm trying to I'm trying to get back to Zoom. Touch the keypad with three fingers and swipe to the right or to the left. It won't let me. Okay, hold on, y'all. Okay. Can y'all see the screen now? Yes. Okay. So now I get with my scripture that I just pulled up. Uh, uh, okay. So let's go to John 8, 3. Let me show y'all something. Look at this. Then we're going to get later battles. Uh, come. I'm going to cater the later battle. So look here. <clears throat> And the scribes and the Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had sent her in the midst, they said unto him, Master, this woman was taken in the very act of adultery. So, taken in adultery in the very act. And, Mo, and now Moses in the Torah commands us that such should be stoned. But what says that? Now, Yahushua wasn't there, was he? He going on something somebody said, right? It's only a woman that don't have no man with her. Her husband's not with her and no man. They just got a woman. According to the Torah, you got to have a woman and a man and two witnesses. All they got is a woman and a whole bunch of witnesses. This they said, tempting him. A few of them probably hit him. But then they want to try to trap him. This they said, tempting him, that they might have to accuse him for Yahushua. Stooping down with his finger wrote on the what? The ground. When Moses came off the mountain, what did he throw on the ground? The tablets, the tablets are what? The command, the word of Yah, right? Yahushua is what? The word of Yah, he's the living water and that ground. So when he began to write it on the ground in his finger, guess what he did? He was doing numbers five. He was doing numbers five. And so when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, he that is without sin among you, let him cast a first stone at her. Not saying that she's free or didn't do anything, 
he understood by him the war. He did the Torah. He understood by what they were saying. They were lying. And it was only doing it to set him up. So he had to have discernment. He, when he read down right, he, when he did the, the word in the water, he caused him to drink his words. He, he, he followed number five. And so guess what? And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which had heard it being convicted by their own conscience went out one by one, beginning at the elders, even unto the last. And Yahushua was left alone and a woman standing in the midst. And when Yahushua, I want y'all to see this. And when Yahushua had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, woman, where are those thine accusers? Have no man condemned thee? She said, no man. Master, and Yahushua said unto her, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. With him telling her to go on sin no more had nothing to do with them catching her in adultery. If they would have caught her in adultery, he couldn't just let that go. She would have had to die according to the Torah of Moses. He let her go because they were lying. And when he did what he did, y'all revealed that. Because how? He followed Torah. This is the same thing in Numbers 5. Same thing in, in, in uh, Exodus. You know, uh, we got to hear you up too. Go ahead. Just on that though, not only were they lying, but that was used to entrap Yahushua, you know, right. So he, he discerned. Mm -hmm. And none of all of they, all of they stuff hold it. Mm -hmm. Because their real intentions with truth, trap him with in numbers and what we read today is all about your intentions your conscience your intentions what's within you right you know that y'all that because go ahead and let me catch finish i'm gonna bring up some about the word negative right um and so guess what and then we can we'll get you out of this last this last verse right here um that's what he did and, but but he look, look at aaron i want y'all to see what aaron humbled himself and aaron repented this is what Aaron was, was, was spared. And Aaron said, let not, by, let not the anger of my master wax hot. He asked for mercy. He asked him for forgiveness. He asked for forgiveness yes. Thou knowest the people that they are set on, that, 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 they, uh, that they are set on mischief. And this is what happened. He told him the truth. He told the truth. He told the truth, y'all, willing to take the punishment. And let me explain something to you. Be honest about what you deal with, what you go through, what you do wrong. You ain't got to try to hide it, regardless of how bad it is. It's your honesty that, that causes the mercy. It, 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 it don't even matter about the people. It matters about y'all. People ain't got to have mercy. People can be wicked. That's, that's up to them. Don't condemn yourself and feel like you just can't make it because they don't want to know. They talk about nothing. You confess your sister the most high. Yeah, you humble yourself and ask for his mercy. He'll give it to you in spite of people. But when you don't humble yourself and turn for y'all, then you will perish and die by the sword. Go ahead, Michaela. Now, I had just, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, I had just wanted to say earlier when we was reading up a little further and Noticing, like, when they came out of Shavuot or just going through Shavuot. But that's something that we don't realize. That's when the adversary, he, he come for us the most or the hardest during these times of the feast. Mm -hmm. They're making me all year long then. <laughs> yeah, all year long. But it, when their free days start to come up, well, he be, he be after you. Really? And that's when you become the weakest, too. Mm -hmm. because you're trying to build yourself up to a place where you can be receptive to the most high and like it's teaching us hey not to fail because they failed miserably <laughs> allow the adversary to you know do what he 
is known to do. Mm -hmm. And so that was something that I had took out of it. Like I'm listening to everything you're saying, but the most high he's showing me different things is too in this lesson too. That's good. Because like when these times come, like when the feast time come, we should be reading these things to show us what not to do. And also it's showing us ways that the adversary tries to come at us too. And like for me, this past Shabbat is probably, the, well, this is my second or third one. I don't know. But this was my toughest, the toughest time, then 50, then 50 days was the toughest time that ever said they were trying to fight me so hard. But the most high, even still being there, he allowed me to overcome. And we but, can overcome. We just have to want to. But sometimes yeah. that flesh gets the itch in you and you just be like, whatever. Right, and you, you don't even have like you can avoid. Yeah, you can avoid having to go through the process of repenting for stupid stuff that you did when you can just fight the fight the itch. It, it's hard to fight the itch, but you can fight it. Put some lotion on it. It made the itch go away. Take a bath. It'll make the itch go away. But we have to. We have to stand. Like we really have to fight, or we right. will be building calves and. And, and whatever else right. that might be our golden calf. But like the most high, he he is amazing. Cause I seen right. it the whole time we was talking about this. Right. Just like and, you and have like, to truly dis be able to discern. You really have to truly be able to discern things that's going on with in your life so that you don't continue to slip down when these times come. These times of the feast are helping us to be better the next time we get here. So right. And, 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 and um, let me say this: you, we 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 all can um mess up. Uh, right here, it ain't necessarily just the mess up part. It's the part that you don't see them repent. You don't see them turning from it. You you see them deny. And um, so then when Moses said, and then we'll get later to battle because she want to bring us something about, about the word naked. He said unto them, Thus said Yahuwah, Elohim of Yasharal, put every man his sword by his side, and go in and out from the gate to gate throughout the camp, and slay every man his brother, and every, and every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moses. For y'all told them to do it. And there fell of the people that day about 3,000 men. So you know what? Those are the ones that fell are the ones who did not turn. The ones who was exposed. Most High has always had mercy. Y'all start looking at, look at the pattern of the scripture when you start seeing y'all destroy people. You don't see them people repenting. You, you don't see nobody who y'all uh, repent uh, destroy. I mean, you, you don't see nobody who y'all destroy that repents. He destroys the unrighteous. He destroys the wicked, not the righteous. Um, so uh, according, to the, according to the children of Levi, and the children of Levi did according to the word of Moses, and there fell of the people that there about 3,000 men. And um, if for Moses said, then, and, and then the ones who, who, who did what they did and stood for righteousness, for Moses, for Moses had said, consecrate yourself today uh, uh, to Yahuwah, even every man upon his, upon his son and upon his brother, he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. Why? For being obedient and destroying sin out of the camp. Go ahead, go ahead, uh, Lady Bell. For being just, they just, he's going to bless them for their obedience and their willingness to fight for him. To remove the sin out of the camp. Hallelujah. Go ahead, little bit. Um, I, just a, a thought, because I know the, the word nakedness came up. And two of those, uh, when we look at Genesis chapter 2, Genesis 3 and 10, I mean, chapter, yeah, 3. Um. And then the last, the last verse in chapter two, Arum or Arum, they, they both, there are two um, Strong's Concordance words that you can look up right there for the word naked. Yeah, Arum. And the other one, I think it has like an A-Y and an E sound. And where? Pretty, pretty much meaning the... Uh, you have to go back to the book of Exodus to see that one. 
I think where we are, Exodus, um, Exodus, well, Exodus 32, 32. 32 and 25 is Parah. Mm. But there are two words, and I, it's three different uh, strong concordance words. Two of them are root words of the same. Uh, the Arun. And they, it, it does mean to be unclothed, to be uh, bare, if you will. But what we want to connect and make sure we don't miss is in Exodus 32, where it is Parah. Exodus 32 also can be found in the same sense that nakedness in this means to have them at a point of being un unarmed, defenseless, or even ashamed of their conscience and guilt. That is a, in the garden, literally, that is what died first. Mm -hmm. They opened up their soul, their mind, and their spirit to be consciously unclean, mm -hmm. which was reflected in their outer actions. They saw, right, and they saw their bareness which before their conscience was set apart. Their conscience, their mindset was set apart because that's how they were made. And so when we're, when we're looking at this and we do see the word naked, it is absolutely, and you can have uh, references of scripture using verse 32, of Exodus and 25 that takes us to Genesis 3 and 10 after they had sinned and committed such a thing so that when we're studying scripture um, and looking at this portion today that we understand yes yeah it, it is they absolutely were made by Aharon to appear to be naked Moshe asked him a question Make them be guilt, you know, guiltless, have no conscience uh, in reference to them, you know, just being so apt to sin, ready to do it. And he participated in it. So when he repented, those that did not repent had to take the water, had to take the, you know, go through this testing. Their conscience was still dark because of their unwillingness to repent. And if you look at that same pattern or admit Adam pointed at Eve, Eve pointed at the serpent, and they were all dealt with. So when we're reading it to stay within context, if we want, uh, you know, to give a take on the word naked from the Strong's Concordians, you can absolutely reference Exodus 32 and 25 with Genesis 3 and 10 upon the Hebrew uh, the Hebrew definition and it, and, it, and it being we're doing our best to convey it in the English vernacular is that their conscience after all y'all had done bringing them out of Egypt reverted back right. to sin right. and it put them in a place that they began to act out their mindset and then they still withheld. And in withhelding and not being come, not being forward or coming forth with the truth and being honest, they were cut off. Just as you see um, happen in Exodus, they was put out of the garden. Right. It, 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 uh, right. And it, and it had all to do, nakedness starts with the mindset. And Moshe clearly asked Aharon, I mean, Aharon clearly pointed out this is the mindset of the people that they mischief. Yeah, this is their mind. And it came out in their actions. So I thought we, you know, should visit that word naked. And it yeah. and, and it and it absolutely means to be uh uncovered, separated, ashamed, consciousness of guilt, and they lacked it. Right. And and check something out now. Um they broke y'all's heart. They hurt him. Let, let, let me say this as well. A lot, a lot of times, see, 
the scripture says this, the, 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 the scripture says the ill or the mighty one of this world has blinded the mind of the children of disobedience. So because our minds be blind, we, 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 we can't see the word for real. These folks broke y'all's heart. He made a covenant with them. A lot of us don't see the most high as um, uh, being real. We see him as being some kind of fictitious image or some kind of religious thing that we, we really don't approach him like that. A lot of folks so 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 caught up in spirituality and, and trying to be deep that they don't know that Yah is actually real. He's more real than you. He's the, he's the creator of all things. The Most High is not invisible to you. You are so unrighteous and, and full of sin, he keeps himself from you so you won't die. You're not being able to see Yah. It's not Yah trying to hide himself from you. You know, I've been able to see y'all with, uh, with your own physical eyes for your protection. For, for, because he care about you enough to keep you like that. Uh, let's look at Exodus 32 and, and, and 30. It says, says, in the can of pass on tomorrow, most unto the people you have seen a great sin. And now I will go up to Yahuwah and period of vision and atone for your sin. I'm going I'm, I'm to go pray for y'all to mess up. Y'all have messed up. Oh, you know you messed up, don't you? And, and let, let's, let's get to something. I, 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 I like I like this part because Moses goes to y'all and Moses prayed. And I want y'all to understand something, man. Listen to this. The most I take you how he is, man. If you mean what you're saying to him, you're talking to him for real. He's talking to y'all. And Moses said, Oh, these people have seen a great sin and have made them gods of gold. They done that. He confessed that. Yet now, if thou will forgive their sin, and if not, then block me. I pray thee out, out of thy book, which thou hast read. Take me out of that den. That's strong. I don't think Moses could have said that if he had a relationship with the Most High Yah. Because Moses knows how he felt about how he felt about Yah. And Yah knows how he felt about Moses. And Moses also knows that Yah uh, loves Israel. And, and he know the eyes hurt. See, I think, yeah, we, we don't think the most high can have feelings. And that's why sometimes when we mess up and do sin, we condemn ourselves so bad. Like you like, like this is over with. And it's not supposed to be like that. Yah has mercy upon whoever he has mercy. He said, he said that. He said, then block me out then. And Yah says, he tell me, well, now, whoever sinned against me, him when I brought out my book. I ain't going to blot you out. I'm going to get whoever did what they did. They can't come up in here. They talking. They having, they having a real conversation. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and thank you. We don't, we, some we can't see that. But they talking for real because the most high is expressing his heart. See, religion condemns you. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Mashiach. Yeah, who should? Yeah, we do wrong, we do wrong. And it just is what it is. But we can always go to him and, have, and, get, and gain mercy. Moses right there praying for Yahshua. The scripture says Yahushua sits at the right hand of the Hagubah, the right hand of the power of Yah. He's forever making intercession for us. He's praying to Yah like this right here about you and me. When we do wrong. And Yahuwah said unto Moses, whoever have sinned against me, hear what I brought out of my book. Therefore now go lead the people into the place which I have spoken to thee. And behold, my angel shall go before thee. Nevertheless, in the day when I visit, I will visit their sin upon them. So y'all tell you now, because y'all hurt right here, y'all. Y'all got to be able to see that. Y'all tell me, go ahead and go. To, go ahead, go ahead and go. Well, I show you. He ain't, he ain't going nowhere. Go ahead and go. It's all good. He broke it. He hurt. And Yahuwah plagued the people because they made that calf. Which he, go ahead and go. And he, 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 he plagued them, gave them sick, gave them COVID-19 on the plan. <laughs> but COVID was a plague. So y'all allow, allow something to come amongst the people because of their disobedience. Because of their idolatry. 
because of their wrongdoing. Now, check something out. Repenting now. Repent. Look, and Yahweh said to Moses, depart, go. Depart and go up. Hence, thou go up here. You and the people which, had, which you have brought up out of the land of Egypt, unto the land which I swear to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, Thy seed would I give it. So Moses said, I'm going to keep my word to him. But I ain't going. Because you know why y'all wasn't going? He don't believe they cared about how he felt. He don't believe it mattered to them to give you his heart, to bring deliverance, to provide for you, and you do me like this. Man, and we don't, and, 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 and check some now, because I want y'all to see this. And look at the bride. I, 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 ain't, trying, I ain't trying to knock, knock, knock no women. But a wife and a woman, she, she, a woman don't, don't, don't repent because a man do to one another when they have disagreement, don't you? And the married, I've been married 24 years. I love my wife, and she come tell me she's sorry when she do wrong, get me. But she don't come all the time and say, I'm sorry, like this, this, that quick. She don't. We were standing there, and, and this is being real. We were standing there, uh, we was at a place two weeks ago at site one, and the man was talking, we were talking about marriage and wife, and dude was talking to uh, my sons. <laughs> he said, man, look here, they gonna repent, let the time they need you repent, and they ain't gonna never be wrong. You know, and he and it was funny that he said that. Not saying they don't, they don't, they don't acknowledge that they're wrong. What I'm saying is that's us. As Israel, as the bride of Mashiach, that a lot of times we do certain things, you all not realizing that, hey, we need to get it right because we have broken y'all's heart. We've hurt him. We we, we made him feel bad. And, and, and when you don't acknowledge that you've broken his heart, when you when you can't realize the pain you caused him, of course you ain't going to say you sorry. Because you don't have no remorse. The scripture, the, 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 the scripture says y'all's goodness leads men to be remorseful. Leads men to be repentive. His goodness brings about that. But when you can't realize he's been good to you by sparing you, providing for you, doing things for you, you don't turn back from those things. You continue to go the same way. Y'all is hurt right here. He tells them, he said, and Yahweh said to Moses, depart and go up. Thou and the people which thou hast brought out of the land of Egypt unto the land which I swear to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, said unto thy seed that I would give it. I'm going to keep my word to you. And I will send an angel before thee, and I will drive out the Canaanite, the Amorite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Jebusite, and the Hivite, and the Jebusite, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. For I will not go up in the midst of thee, for thou art a stiff necked people, lest I consume thee in the way. Look at something, y'all. I want y'all to be able to, um, to look at this and gain an understanding of this right here. The Most High is telling these people. He's keeping his word to Moses and to Israel. And he's saying, go, I'm going to send an angel to you. And I'm going to send you to a place from making honey. I'm going to look out. I'm, 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 I'm going to bless you, but I can't go. But if I go, I'm going to kill you. I ain't going to lie to you. Moses didn't care about none of that stuff. The money, the land, the physical things. You know, that brought something out to me that most of us, we, we care so much about what we have, material possessions, physical things, money, but we don't care about y'all like we say we do. We just don't want to lose what he gave us. And I believe this, this, this right here should be a lesson for us to realize it's not about the, 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 the land. It ain't about the land whatsoever. It ain't about the money whatsoever. None of that. It's about y'all. Look here, and Yahweh said to Moses, go up. Oh, 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 excuse me. And when the people heard these evil tidings, look, look, it wasn't no evil, it's bad news. Man, I don't want nothing. If y'all ain't with me. And when the people heard these evil tidings, this means bad news, Jack. Evil, uh-uh. Man, I can't take that. They just pleased, it's grievous, it's grief. They were, they were hurt. It said, and when the people heard the evil tidings, they mourned. Man, we need you. We'd have messed up. Oh, could you please have mercy upon me? And no man did put on him his ornaments. Who I said unto Moses, say unto the children of Yasharah, you are a stiff necked people. Heavy, hard-hearted, 
sorrowful? Is, 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 is it cashes or is it a riff? I think it's because chef, you hard hard, you don't listen, you don't pay attention. I'm saying here telling you stuff. You don't, you don't care about, y'all hurt right here, man. Let me explain something to y'all real talk. When the Most High is hurt, why would we get in our pride? The Most High uses examples of people to show us how to have a relationship with him. You have a 10 words. Wives, if your husband is hurt, why wouldn't you go to him and get it right? Husbands, if your wives are hurt, why wouldn't you do that? Children, parents, brothers, neighbors, whoever. You should still want them instead of want the other stuff. We would, we would at times rather give folk up, leave them alone, and let them go and still go gain something. And we think we're being blessed because you got your house and you live in the land, floor with making honey. I don't want to live in no land flowing with milk and honey if y'all is not with me. The land is worth, worthless. It's in vain. You ain't even, you ain't even blessed. I'm in this land. Man, I'm, I'm sitting here doing good and I don't have you. Y'all never seen the movie uh, Conan the Barbarian a long time ago on Schwarzenegger. A long time ago on Schwarzenegger come on Conan the Barbarian. He's sitting there, he's sitting there when the first come on y'all. This is how he's sitting. You know what his hand, hand on his, his job. He's lonely. He by he by there, he by himself. All his victories, all this spoil, all things he gained. Man, all this good stuff he has no one to share it with. He ain't got the love of his life to share it with. So you can go in and get your prosperity and have your money after you done got your house. After you done got your car, your person with your big old boat on the ocean. You need to get you some yacht. Cause this what's gonna make it matter. For uh, for Yahuwah said unto the Moses, say unto the children of Yahshua, you are stiff-necked people. Yeah, you stubborn, stubborn, hard-headed jacks. I will come into the midst. I will come into the midst of thee in a moment and consume thee. Yeah, I come kill everything out there. That's what he tell me. He mad. We talking about cuss words. Man, look here. What's the worst? Kim tell me he gonna come in a moment and consume me. It's still just painful. What do you say, fifth form, fifth form, fifth, or saying the word damn? It's still painful. But our problem is we, 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 we so much play on words and get so much caught on the word that we don't hear the message. Most I hurt right here. So I can come take every last one of y'all out. Now, therefore, put up off that ornament from off the all them thoughts y'all hit on. Get, get all this stuff off with you. Take all this stuff off and make a dog on golden calf. Put them ornaments off y'all. That I may mean, know what to do with thee. And the Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments by Mount Horeb. Mm. Now y'all said something different now. Now, now. now you gotta come on here individually to seek me. And, and then Moses took the tabernacle and pitched it without the camp. A four off. He removed y'all. Listen here, y'all. Y'all had Moses to take him from among the children of Yasharal. And put him outside of the camp. And so now you want to see, y'all, you got to get past you, get out of your comfort zone, and go to the place outside of petition to go find y'all. You got to be willing to go by faith now, in spite of what's going around you. It was only in the camp that there was safety. But now in this camp, because of sin, y'all wasn't there. And you got to be willing to leave that to go to him. And Yahuwah and Moses took the tablet like and pitched it without the camp took it afar off from the camp. He took it away far from them and called and called uh, it the tabernacle of the congregation. And it came to pass that everyone which saw Yahuwah went out unto the tabernacle of the congregation, which was without the camp. Why? Because they had to go seek Yah. Yah came and got them. He came and delivered them. He, he left, he, they, they broke his heart. He moved, you, if you want me, pursue me then. You know what we do when we hurt people? We don't go back, we don't want to find them to act. No, we don't try to go get it right. Look at the pattern behind this thing. When they did y'all wrong, they broke y'all's heart. They did y'all bang. They had to go back to him. We do folk wrong, we won't do nothing. We won't go to him try to get it fixed. 
We'll see that man. Look, I don't care. I'm mad too. What about me? No. That's why that, 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 y'all moved himself. He had Moses move him. And it says that everyone which saw y'all, they went out, they went and he would fall. They had to go a long way. Everyone which saw y'all went out, went out unto the tabernacle congregation, which was Dr. Kill, they had to go. And it came to pass that Moses went out into the tabernacle, that all the people rose up and stood, every man at his tent door. They looking to see if y'all gonna come see this because they want y'all to be with them and look after Moses until he was gone in the tabernacle. And it came to pass that look here, they 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 looking. And when it came to pass, as Moses entered into the tabernacle, the cloud of pillar descended and stood afar off and stood at the door of the tabernacle. And Yahuwah talked with Moshe. Look, look at something. Praise Yahweh for his compassion toward us. There's somebody praying. And all the people saw the cloud of pillar stand at the tabernacle door. And all the people rose up and worshiped every man in his tent door. They were getting to worship Yah. Now, oh, I can't do the Now, they, they repenting. They turn from them sins and ask you, help us, please deliver us. They probably use this word. We don't want to bear no false witness. We want to love our neighbor. We don't want to covet nobody, y'all. We don't want to murder. We don't want to steal, y'all. They, 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 they're repenting. They begin to worship. You are. Where is it? Let's see if that's it. Shakar. They prostrate themselves on the ground and pay homage to Yah, bow down themselves humbly. Seeking Yah, Yah is the word of worship. It's humbly. Because they need Yah. They, they, they're not worshiping Yah. Oh, you're good. They're worshiping Yah because they don't, they don't want Yah to be with that. If Yah is over there, they want to have a relationship with him. They want him to come back. You know, we don't even take our time to go try to pursue and, and try to have a relationship with, with, with people who we say we love. We get in our flesh and we want to keep ourselves and we want to hold on to grace and be mad. You hurt me. You did me wrong and don't realize the pain that you caused yourself to them. Or the other people, our pride. If you want to be able to see, yeah, you got to humble yourself in all manner of ways. Everything ain't got to come up out of you. They, they, you got to get things fixed as well, even with people. We walk right here having grudges, being mad at folks, having problems with people, being angry for no reason. Do we love y'all? I love you, y'all. When? <laughs> And okay, hold on. Let me finish this, this right here. Then, this verse. And Yahuwah spake unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend. Face to presence, face to face. That means that Moses had, that means that Moses, Pauline, that means that Moses heard the out loud, audible voice of Yah. That Moses was able to see the countenance of the figure of Yah. He didn't see the actual whole face of Yah, but he was able to feel his presence and his tangibleness. He was able to, like he was there. And he heard him. And when he spoke to him, Moses went back to the camp. Joshua stayed, though. I ain't leaving you. You don't say the cloud went up neither. He went to Yah and Yah responded. Why did Yah think you think he responded to Moses? Moses denied his own self interest. Moses had so much love for his brothers. He said, Look here, I'll tell you what, for the brethren, he said, I'll tell you what, then brought me out then. I'm riding with him then. And Moses probably said that, man, that's probably difficult for Moses to say, you know, based on him and Yah's relationship and their experience with one another. So you got to be able to see, look here, man. We got to get this thing together, don't we? Go ahead, Lady Bad. I was going to say, um, when you go back to worship, mm -hmm. it says that they prostrated themselves, and it said, especially in the sense of bowing, crouching, falling at the present realizing it, it, it wasn't even anything too much they could say it was their act of position getting back in position right. for them to be received by God right. you know because a lot of times 
and I have been guilty. And so we want to enter to, in the presence of Yah, but we have a lot of words. But it's actually our heart, our mindset that has to be made low before Yah. So that we understand who is above. And that the only way to actually get to where he is is to let him know that that's where you want to be. Mm -hmm. Not coming in. And, and I think and I think that that's amazing because not only were they watching looking to see what the response would be but when y'all truly responded they got that. Right. Not even that they said, oh, you know, our English or Western mindset, oh, y'all, oh, y'all, oh, blah, 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 or however, you know, we express ourselves out of our mouth. But it was what they did in body. Right. No. And they made themselves low. And, and it makes me think of the blessed attitudes differently. When we truly are poor you know, when we truly are poor in spirit, what is a blessing in that? Is that we show ourselves we are in need of Yah, you know, because I have thought of it, you know, in a different manner than, you know, uh, head hung down, showing people that you, you pray, you fast and praying, you know, making yourself look a certain way when they had to actually be it. When they saw the presence of Yah, after seeing Yah come through, dealing with and having 3,000 of, of those that rebelled against his, him intentionally, done away with, after him reassuring Moses that he was going to block them out, done and over, you know, it is no coming back from this, that their mind had changed for those who gathered, including Levi, that day around Moshe when he told him to choose. Right. And so being spared because your heart's intentions is just like if we're not something, then we need to show it. If we are something, your actions need to show it. And so I think that that's even more profound that to Yah, worship is truly us being low or down before him right. in posture or in spirit. Okay, so it has nothing to do, you know, with our understanding of worship in the West. Of, 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 uh, you know, like if yeah, who should be lifted up, he'll draw folks mean praise harder. Get on the organ, bam, bam, bam. You didn't Dance, get me at all. That's not what <laughs> you know, that's not what's happening here. Right. Because when they were in their door and they saw that presence. They immediately got down. They didn't break out in no right. footloose jump, you know. And I'm not trying to be funny. But they, and, 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 and they did it because of uh, their sin. Yes, and, and and that's what I'm saying. We we realized that we need His presence because He was so good. I remember a message you talked, uh, and it was real good because I looked it up. That when we are encountered by Yah, His grace and mercy should lead us to thankfulness, to being thankful. He spared them. He really went through and was intentional about getting rid of any parts of sin and darkness or waywardness that was in the camp. And to have his presence, to long for his presence again, has nothing to do with the, the dance, the coded dance, or the Baptist prayer or all these other <laughs> denominations stuff we pick up, what we think is worship, or all these songs put together in a compilation that have your mind just reeling because music sounds so good. And honestly, I don't even think music was played right here. It was solid. No, they, 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 they can't do it right. You know, so it's worship right here. It just, it just spoke to me. Right. Worship has nothing to do with come out your mouth. It's the position of your heart. Right. And, and, you, being, and you're worshiping because you you know when he's brought you from, not just out of, you know, uh, bondage, you know, uh, as far as Egypt, but uh, sin uh, spared you because of your shortcoming. Look here. You think some of them folks, you think some of them folks, they know some of them folks, they got killed? 
You know what I'm saying? They're saying their friends died, disobedient, plagued through the camp. Then y'all saying they ain't gonna be with you. They, 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 it's rough, it's rough right now. The strout, look, you're depressing to them. I can't get about him. I mean, please. Yeah, look here. But y'all is always compassionate and full of mercy. Look at this, y'all. And Moses said to y'all, where well, he was in his tabernacle, he said, See, you say, you said to me, See, you says unto me, bring up this people, and thou hast not let me know whom thou was sent with me. You, you, you said bring people up, but you didn't let me know who you didn't let me know who you're gonna send with me. And then, but you said, well, you have known me, known me, known that I know you by the name. His new name is Shem. It don't mean he knows his name is Moses. You said the more I know your character. I know you all about who you are. Yeah, by your character, by Shem, not by the name Moses. So then when it comes to the Mashiach, I said, well, you go to the Father in my name, you ain't going to him saying, Yah, in the name of Yahushua. No, you're going to him to Yah in the character of Yahushua, in the authority he represents. So when you approach Yah in Yahushua's name, he sees their authority, their character, he sees that only, and he receives you because of him and Yahushua's relationship. And right here, the same Moses is, 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 is a type of Yahushua right here. He's the first mediator. And Yah is going to respond to Moses, to Israel for Moses, because of him and Yah's relationship. We have always had intercessors. Uh, he said, he said, he said, yeah, you have said, I know you by name, and that has found also found grace in my sight. Now, therefore, I pray to you, I'm asking you, then, I'm begging you, then. If I found grace in your sight, then show me now your way. That I may know you. Show me your way. Show me your road. Show me your course of life. Show me your mode of action. Show me you that I may know you. That I may find her said grace, love, and kindness. Ken, con, grace, love, and kindness in your life. Faith. That I can find grace in your sight. And consider that this nation is that people. I mean, since so you saying, see, man, look here, y'all better leave me alone. I was talking to the most high, we won't get Isaiah's uh, coming question. And, 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 and I need for y'all to father me. And, 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 and let me serve notice to y'all. Most I ain't gonna do nothing for you if you can't be real with him about where you are and what you're dealing with. You should be able to talk to him honestly and openly about anything. It's one thing that y'all requires for you when you come for him, it's the truth. But nowadays the truth seems so much like hate, hate speech. That when the most they come to y'all, they don't be honest in their prayers. Yahuwah commands us in Proverbs to come with him with simplicity. I look at that word of what I mean is it's, it's a come to him without craftiness in your heart. Come to him without deceit. Be real with him. Well, yeah, what you're dealing with. That's how he responds to you. And Moses talks to y'all. He's talking to y'all just like that. You said, I found grace in your sight. She didn't show me your way. Give me to know you. And I got grace. They consider these people as your nation, that they, 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 as your people name. And the most I responded because of Moses being honest. And he said, my presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. Go ahead, Isaiah. I was just thinking of Ur about Moshe, you know, his intercession, because after they broke the covenant, the most I was going to wipe Yashrael out as a nation. <laughs> Moshe went down there, handled them, went back up to Yah, and he was willing to put take take the judgment, blot his name out the book of life. He didn't consider it robbery or none of that. But Yah 
So he gonna block their name out. He let Moshe live. Only 3,000 die. Those who sinned against him. And then Moshe talks about Yah raising up a prophet like unto him. Then we get to Yahushua. He thought an Iraq would come down here, intercede, correct his people, get at his people. But this time, when Yahshua broke the covenant, somebody did have to give their blood up. Because there was no turning away, because they was in captivity by this time, too. So it just made me think. Like you said, that's how I know the Ruach spoke to me. That there has always been an intercessor. Always. It blows my mind. I ain't gonna lie, I knocked me down to my knees out here, but it blew my mind. <laughs> because praise Yah. Right. Because Hallelujah. you look at Abraham, he did the same thing with Sodom and Gomorrah, an unrighteous nation. His heart was for real. It wasn't no, sin, it wasn't no fakeness. Yeah, blood. It, it, wasn't, it was real. It was real intercession. Yeah. And you gotta Moses, Moses was for real. Abraham. Right. Moses was for real. The kings who cried out. Ezra, who ripped his beard. Nehemiah, who laid a hand. They, they were for real. They, their hearts loved Yah for real. They wanted to do this, go, go to lengths for their people. They were willing to go boldly to the throne of grace. The tamers. And talk to Yah, Yah, I understand that you're mad at us. A mediator. Yah has always been there because Yah desires to have mercy, not sacrifice. And Yahushua said, along with that means. He wants a mediator because he knows that if you come in my presence the wrong way, I kill you. Flesh can't handle me. Look at Aaron's sons. The Ruach burnt out of them. The breath left them. They died because they came into the presence of Yah wrong. But just praise Yah for me. They praise Yah for Yahushua. Because if we did not have Yahushua, it'd be over with. We'll be counted in the lot with sinners. Mm. Hallelujah. That's it. Praise Yah. Uh, praise Yah. Hallelujah. You're right. And he said, he, 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 look here. And y'all know that Moses was, it was on Moses' heart. Probably under ease, probably couldn't get no risk. He said, I mean, and I give you, I give you rest. <laughs> yeah. And he said to him, if thy presence go not with me, then carry us not, carry us not up from hence. If you don't, and I, and I mean that to myself. I need him, man. I know I do. I want to be in this wheel. I love y'all. For wherein shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace in your sight? Is it not, is it not in that thou goest with us? That's how folks are gonna know that, that we got grace in your side if you're with us. So shall we be separated, I and thy people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. And Yahuwah said to Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken. For thou hast found grace in my sight. And I know that by now he said he told him again. And he said unto thee, Show me thy esteem, show me thy glory. And Moses said, Let me tell you something. I was um Riding down the road the other day. And man, we was going down, we was going down the road, man, and the lights was green on this side. The, the, the lights was green on my left hand side because it was toward the end of the day, I guess. It was a lot of traffic, so you couldn't really see the intersection, but they, they don't every intersection on this particular road has lights in it. Because it's, 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 it's a four-lane highway, it's a very busy street. And uh, it was, a, it, it, it was a car, black car. I don't know how it looked, but I know it's a black car. And, and, and man, it just came out while I'm driving. It came out on me. It was about 35 miles per hour. And I saw myself T-boned. I saw me hit. Man, I saw me dead. I saw me broken up. I saw like, man, this over with. My dad clunched him on the seat. And then I said, was. He was so aware, he, could, he was speechless. 
And then 10 minutes later, he said a word, you know. And man, I started turning all on the inside of me. Cause I saw myself, you know, getting killed. Re real talk. But, but it's like the most high, I ain't gonna say it was my skills and my abilities. Cause I, don't, I ain't never drove like that. I pushed on it and swerved, but it's like an angel just pushed us past the place. And we live, y'all. If, 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 if I would have got hit by that car, that would have ruined everything for my family. We wouldn't have been able to have our business. They, uh, my family wouldn't have had their father. My whole entire family would have been in disarray. Not just me, my dad was in the car and my firstborn son. And I'm my dad's firstborn son. That would have been something devastating, but y'all, in his goodness, spared my life and spared my family's life and, and blessed us. So I'm gonna tell you something about you. I ain't gonna never be ashamed of it. I'm gonna always be proud of it. Cause he's my father and I love him so dear, so, 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 so much. And I think for even, you know, have mercy for me and my shortcomings. But I want you to understand this prayer that most of the time, he's talking to me at the These folks messed up, they did bad. No, I, I wasn't standing going down the road, but I'm just saying, man, look here. He spared me. So when you're talking to him, he said this right here. He said, he said, he said man, help me. I, I, I don't care about going nowhere if you ain't with me. See, don't nothing set you apart from nobody, y'all, except for y'all. It don't matter about what, what you have materialistic. It don't matter about you having no big old car, no bunch of materialists and no, no, no lot of business and big housing and money. Those things come and they go. Money ain't number money. Things don't cost them but money. That's all they do is they do them kind of money. You love y'all and love people and, and, and use the money. But these folks that messed up so mad, they, they talking to him. He said, I know you by name. You found grace in my sight. I want you to understand something. The most high don't come to you because you ain't got no flaws on you, man. See, when he ain't got the Moses, Moses had already killed the man. And Moses didn't know who he was. And Moses had made a whole lot of bad decisions in his life, probably. But Yahweh called Moses out and chose him to lead his people. And even in the middle of that, on their way, he, uh, Amalekim appeared to get ready to kill Moses. Because he listened to his father-in-law when he told him, don't, don't, don't circumcise his son. Y'all still love Moses the same in spite of all those things. And he said that I have found that you have found grace in my sight. Y'all, that's the same thing when it comes to us. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee. I'm gonna let you see all of me. And I proclaim, and I will proclaim the name of Yahuwah before thee. He wanted to have a not, not no gay stuff, not no perverted stuff. He wanted to have an intimate encounter, an intimate relationship. He wanted to experience Yah in ways nobody was able to experience Yah, right? Because he wanted to be close to him just like that. And the most I understood his heart and realized what he was asking. And the most I ain't no respect to a person. If you come for Yah in the same way, he's going to do it. Moses prayed for him and the people. And he said, I'll make my goodness pass before thee, I, and I'll proclaim the name of Yahuwah before thee. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. Who I want to be, and I show mercy to whom I show mercy. That would he tell Moses, and he said, "Thou can't see my face, for there shall no man see me and live." I ain't gonna see my face, cause you ain't gonna see me and live. But I'm telling what I'm gonna do. And y'all, I said, "Behold, there is a place by me, and thou shalt stand in the cleft of the rock." So Moses is standing in the cleft of the rock, and it shall come to pass that while my extinct pass by, I'm gonna put thee in the cleft of the rock. And I'm gonna cover and I'm gonna cover thee with my hand while I pass by. He covered Moses, he covered Moses' body with his hand while he passed by. And I take away my hand, and you shall see my back parts, my backside. I want you to see me. But my face shall not be seen. Y'all do y'all do that, know that by Moses seeing this, he had a glory that was that, that was unfadable. To hear the Moses say in Corinthians. It said, Moses had the glory that faded. It, 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 it said, behold, we do this thing through, through, through a darkness, through, through, through a glass. And Paul is talking about the mistress or whatever. And he, but he said that Moses had an esteem or a glory that was fading away. 
He said, but we got esteem that don't fade away. We go from faith to faith and esteem to esteem. When she got, see, Mo, Mo, Moses' light shine. You look here. And, 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 and he had to put a veil over his face. Because folks were scared of seeing he had so much of all of y'all. But, 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 but the scripture says that we so shine like from uh, esteem to esteem that we, we don't pull no veil over our face. We let folks see what we go through through our tribulations. We glory through them things. I mean, she I got friends to say, blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all that even against you falsely. All the things he said being blessed, the, the last two parts was worse. He came back and said, you are the salt of the earth. Going through your trials, going through shortcomings, being persecuted, you maintain that esteem. And you are the salt of the earth. And you let folks see that. How, how, how you going to be good? For me, uh, you, you, you got you got you got to let men taste that salt. You you you, you got to show that flavor. You 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 ain't good for nothing if men are walking on you, trotting down upon you. You got to remain steadfast, and you got to persist in spite of what you go through. And then he said, "You are the light of the world. Why, why, why would you take that light and put it under a bush and hide it? Won't you bring it out and put it so men can see it and glorify your Father?" It's in the Shamayim. That light is that esteem that y'all showing on you. And we go through that. We ain't killing that. And we, 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 it, it, it permeates up off of us through trials, through tests, through our perseverance, through even when we have shortcomings and we fall. When we get back up, we turn back to Yah. He restores us and allow that light to be shining on the inside of us. So there ain't no time to be giving up. It ain't no time to be weary. And, and, and my reason for this lesson that I like it so much, it, it don't matter how much the, this whole nation committed intentional sin against the most high Yah. And even in his anger, desiring to wipe them out through persistence, through prayer and going forward, he has mercy. And when he restores, he puts you in a higher place than where you was in the first place. That was Moses' first time ever seeing the Yah's backside. And what we want to do, y'all, is throw in the towel and give up on folk and won't even give up on our own selves. How dare you? You better get it together. Look, you, ain't got some, you, you, you don't ever have to stop talking to y'all because you messed up. He ain't never been like that. Most folks make them decisions and say them, and say them uh, uh, statements because somebody else said it. There is no way you're going to go to the Torah and see y'all and not experience his goodness. There is no way so I can read the Torah and call him wicked, mean, harsh, or rude. He has had complete mercy. Then he said unto Moses, I need to show Moses his backside. And they got back right in, in good stand. He said, who out two stones like the ones until the first? Yeah, gonna get two more stones. And I'm, I'm gonna write up on these tables, the words that were in the first tables, which you broke. And be ready in the morning and come up in the morning unto the Mount Sinai and present that thy, thyself there to me in the top of the mountain. Yeah, and let and, and, and no man, you, you just come by yourself. I just want to spend time with you. You come on, you, you, you come on up here by yourself. And let no man, and no man shall come with thee, neither let any man be seen throughout all the mount. I want to write nothing up here but you. Let the flocks nor herds feed before the mountain. And, and he hewed out two uh, tables of stone, like unto the first. And Moses rose up early in the morning and went up unto the Mount Sinai, as Yahuwah had commanded him, and took his hand and, and, and took in his hand the two stone tablets. Look here, y'all. I see you. Y'all told Moses what he was going to do. Moses, Mo, Moses responded by faith. You, 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 you can't tell me something come to Moses' mind. He responded by faith. He moved. And Yahuwah descended in the cloud and stood with him there. He descended in the cloud and stood with him and proclaimed his name. He proclaimed that mean that Yahuwah, Kara, came out uh, and began to call out, begin to address, begin to shout out his authority. <laughs> yeah. His honor, his character. 
of Yahuwah. And Yahuwah passed before him. He passed before him and proclaimed, and he proclaimed, Yahuwah, Yahuwah the El, the merciful and gracious, long suffering, abundant in goodness and truth. Keeping mercy for thousands. Gives me unforgiving everything, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. He always forgave. But she all won the first time, y'all can't forgive anybody. Yeah, it's always been forgiven. You better understand it quickly. It, 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 it did not take you, Hushi. For y'all to forgive you, it took you, Hushi. So, 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 so that you wouldn't have to incur y'all's wrath because y'all knew you weren't going to stop. And because of his love, but, but, but because of him commending his love toward us, he gave us his only son. That yeah, while we was yet without strength, Mashiach died for the wicked, Jack. That's Romans chapter number five, read it for you in your spare time. That when you was yet in your sin, Mashiach died for the ungodly. Yeah, while you was in the middle of your wrongdoing, he ain't wait for you to get nothing together. He ain't wait for you to get nothing right. He ain't wait for you to get no zizis and no suit, get a head covering and get a ride to the assembly. No, while you was yet in the midst of your mess, bound up in your, in your hood, getting drunk, committing uh, heinous acts, doing things out of rebellion, he, did, he died for you while you was in, 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 in your wickedness. When you was yet without strength, Mashiach died for the unrighteous. The wicked. My y'all always been like that. Hallelujah. And his mercy lasts longer than his wrath. He said, keep keeping mercy for thousands. <laughs> Give it iniquity and forgive it iniquity and transgression of sins. And, and, and that will and that will by no means clear the guilty. Who are the guilty? Those who refuse to turn. Those who rebel and act out of this, this matters of wicked intent. He in the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children until the third and fourth generation. This ain't number three generation. He had mercy to the thousands. Just through you just turning from your sins. Humbling yourself and getting out your pride. Go ahead, Malachi. I have a question about the sapphire or mm -hmm. the stones. You said that he told Moses to you. So, I mean, you don't find just big uh, stone. No. So he had, get, he had to cut them out. How did he <laughs> get this guy show? <laughs> I know we can't fully answer the question, but how did he get it? Did you show him that? Did he just make something appear? This is sad. Well, well, no, 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 no. He did what y'all told him to do. You, 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 if, 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 if in 2022, they can cut sapphire, make gems. They can cut them in out of stone. Let's I'm, read it. I'm just saying where he found it. Probably where it was at, or the mountain, or something. Some, it's, it's, it's a, and he, he, he hewed two stone tablets like until the first. Let me see. Yeah. And he, and he, and he we, we just did a sapphire. There was another, another scripture, another book. And Yahuwah said, uh, what, what, Jasher, yeah, sure, do this one. Yeah. No, it's, it's oh, here's 30. Oh, 33. Okay. And Yahuwah said unto Moses, Hew two stone, hew thee two stone, two tables of stone, like unto the first. And I will write upon these tables the words that were in the first tables, which thou breakest. So, no, he didn't make anything appear. Moses had to go over there and hew out two stone tablets. Either he did or somebody did it with him. And then Moses himself took him up there. Most high probably gave him supernatural strength. We as Yashirah have abilities that other folks don't have as well. Psalms uh, what, 83 said that you are El El Elohim. You should die like me. There's only in wickedness. But you have abilities and strength that Yah gave to y Yashirah. They were saying you are Elohim. We're not talking about to all men. The scripture is written to Israel. And no man shall come up with thee. So most carried by himself. Let no man be seen throughout all the mount. It might have been heavy. It might have been time consuming. It might have been... But that's part of you got to walk and strive, persevere, and go up. You got to do that in order to get y'all's word. That's even in our life right now. It's a real good question. 
It said Yahuwah, Yahuwah descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name. And got to talk about himself. Look here. I, everything was made right, Jack. <laughs> yeah. And Yahuwah passed before him and proclaimed Yahuwah, Yahuwah. Elohim, merciful and gracious. Made long suffering and abundant in goodness and truth. And he's just good, good. <laughs> You're a good, good father. Keep in mercy for thousands, forgiving the iniquity and transgression and sin. And that will by no means clear the get No, I'm going to deal with everybody doing wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to deal with you. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children until the third and fourth generation, third and fourth generation. And Moses made haste. Look here, Moses, you what? You got down, Jack, and begin to work. And Moses made haste and bowed down his head toward the ground and began to shakar. He prostrated himself, humbled himself, reverence Yah, again, just to worship Yah. And he said, if now I have found grace in thy sight, why are you on the ground praying to him? Oh, Yahuwah, my master, I pray thee, go among us. For it is a stiff-necked people. Yes, we are stiff-necked people. And pardon our iniquity and our sin. And take us for your inheritance. You know, I know, regardless to, you know, me, regardless to my shortcomings, yeah, this is, I'm, 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 I'm everything you said that I am. Still in there, uncircumcised, hard jack. A mess, but have mercy on me. Yeah, I know I got a whole lot of shortcomings, a lot of false problems, all, 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 all kinds of things, you know, I deal with. But please, you know, have mercy on me. Make me yours. Make me thine and take us for thine inheritance. Inheritance. Nahal. Take us as an heritage, as a possession. You belong to Yah. Now, I don't mean God in the Christian church. He's not real. The God of the Bible is not the same God in the Christian church whatsoever. The God of the Bible don't eat pork. His son don't eat him. And the God of the Bible on the Shabbat. The God of the Bible did not institute uh, Ramadan, nor did he institute uh, a Christmas. You know, so we ain't talking about God. He said, and he said, if now I have found grace in thy sight, O master, O, o Yahuwah, my master, I pray thee, go with us, man, take us for your heritage. We need you. Please forgive us. Let me, let me tell you something. Go, 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 go ahead, Isaiah, before I, before I uh, go to the next, next uh, yeah, verse. No, no, this is Isaiah 43. Isaiah 43. Oh, okay. Man. Okay, okay. And, he, and look, look what he said. Behold, I make a covenant. Barit. Cutting. Barit. That mean that... It, it, that, that that means that Yah, this is strong. That if Yah is to break this covenant, he everything that happened in this covenant got to happen to him. Every curse. If we if we break this covenant, every curse got to happen to us. Yah didn't break no covenant, and he said, "Behold, I make a covenant before all of our people. They're going to come back. I forgive you, because I would do marvels, man." You know, I used to always think that when I messed up and did wrong, I couldn't really pray to y'all, or I think the deal would be off. My mind would be wild because I had people growing up in my life that if I did wrong, they go to the extreme and just it's over with. And they just cut everything off. You know, that happened to me a lot in my life. So I started, you know, just man, shoot, I ain't gonna even, I mean, no, no, no time to even go back because I ain't gonna get anyway. But I'm finding out, y'all, that y'all ain't like that. And the most definitely find out that y'all's people ain't like that. I got all kinds of flaws and shortcomings. Things I do that, man, goodness gracious. I should be ashamed of. I should have been grown out right now. I should have learned better. But even in my, you know, shortcomings and my mess ups, he still loved me the same. That's kind of hard to factor. 
I guess that's why they say, y'all, as good as leads men to repentance. Because when I'm thinking I'm deserving, you know, death, or I'm thinking I'm deserving him to be cut me out, man, he hugged me, man, tell me he loved me, man. Wow. Think about that. Man. Think, think about that. Man, all you got to do is just get it right. Say you're sorry. Fix it and turn from it. And he said, Behold, I'll make a covenant for all of our people. I will do marvels. Look here. I did I, 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 I it messed up. I've been done wrong. I've I, 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 I the DP. Look, yes, the deal's still on. It don't change up because it ain't no. That's small. And he said, Behold, I make a covenant before all thy people. And I will do marvels such as have not been done in all the earth, Jack, nor in any nation. And all the people among which thou art shall see the work of Yahuwah. It is a terrible thing that I would do with thee. Terrible, terrible, not in the sense of bad, but it's gonna be uh uh, uh he's gonna make dread, he gonna make he's gonna he's gonna, he gonna make the folks woo, them people right there. People gonna fear you, people gonna humble themselves before you, they're gonna reverence you, they're gonna get themselves right. Some gonna even be afraid of you. Why? Because he's going to bless you and he's going to love you because y'all done got it back right. He took care of his family. He loved his folk. You hear me? Observe thou that which I command thee this day. Behold, I drive out and forth. Now he's now he getting, he getting them back where they were supposed to be at. Behold, I drive out. Before thee, the Amorite. I'm telling you, putting them out there. The Canaanite, the Hittite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite. That's where Jerusalem come from, the Jebusites. He put them up, he gave them, he gave them Jerusalem. They had Jerusalem before Yashra did. Take heed to thyself, said, oh, y'all said. Take heed to thyself. You should give it to the heart. Take heed to thyself. Lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land where thou goest, lest it be a snare in the midst of thee. And when I read this, I saw that y'all, I broke covenant with the, with the inhabitants of the land. When you make covenant with the inhabitants of the land, you do what they do, you want what they want, y'all coming to agree with them. You abide by their rules, you abide by their laws. Their laws is the ultimate foundation. That's why you go find Bibles in the garbage, tow up. You will never find the Constitution tow up of America. It's somewhere sacred. Israel, we fail because we're we having a covenant with Babylon we need to break. Don't be even your prince want to be like them. Take heed to yourself. You gonna go to the lands. There's people already there. You should be patient walking out here, drive them out. Even in America, Huntsville, Georgia, Alabama, don't live the way they live. I'm not saying go out there and break laws. I'm saying don't be disobedient to y'all. You use wisdom. Mashiach says, read under Caesar what is Caesar's. That doesn't mean you're making covenant because you pay your bills. It doesn't mean you pay uh, making covenant with them because you pay your taxes. It does mean you make covenant with them if, if everything they do overrides the word of Yah. Take heed to yourself, lest least thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land. Where do you go? Where, where are you going? Lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee. We got to destroy the altars. Maybe we can't go right now and, and, and burn down these churches, but I'm going to talk about them so bad. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm going against every religion that's not of y'all. And I don't care about nobody getting mad at me, locally or far, far away. It don't matter to me. We're going to tear this stuff down. But you should, you should destroy their altars. 
break down, break their images and cut down their groves. For you shall worship no other ill. Why? For the Yahuwah whose name is what? Jealous. It's a jealous ill. Ain't that something we just Let's thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land. And they go horror after their elves and do sacrifices unto their elves and no and 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 and, and, and one call thee and thou eat of his sacrifice. And then we use we, we come to them and thou shalt take up their daughters and I, unto thy sons and their daughters to, and go a whore after their elves. And make thy sons go a whore after their elves. Let me say something to y'all. I, I, I'm not racist at all. But some of these relationships is interracial. I don't mean just black and white people. I mean, if you are Israel and Hamite, take heed to, before you make relationships and covenant with these people. Why would you want to be? It, it, it isn't about their skin complexion. It's about who they serve. We go out to these other nations chasing the flashing lights. It ain't about the skin complexion. It's the ale they serve. Why would you want to tie yourself up with somebody who make uh, Christmas? Because she got a big booty. Or he got a nice car. He take you to Cancun and you go on ski trips and y'all been able to drink coffee uh, 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 in the Alps. You know. Why ski? You, you, you willing to give y'all for that? Because we do. We give y'all for the simplest things, just like Solomon did. For the simplest things. Take heed to yourself. And that, he, he, he told their sons, that that's to your sons. The most high don't want you mingling with other nations. Not because of their race. Don't be foolish. Look at this, don't, don't be foolish. It has nothing to do with their skin complexion. It said, but it, it, it says, take heed to thyself, lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land where thou goest. Lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee. You, you shall destroy their what? Altars, a place of what? Sacrifice to another ale, prayer, break their images, crosses, whatever they got held up. To represent their ales, you break it down, cut down their groves. For you shall worship no other ale. It ain't gonna do with their skin complexion. You do not mingle with other nations if they don't serve Yah. They gotta serve Yah and know who you are, Israel. Not God, not Jesus in the Christian church. They don't serve Yah. I wouldn't marry a Christian or Muslim, or Hindu, or Jewish, or whatever other religion, Rastafari, was it Rasta? They just said the wrong, the wrong God. Kemet. Kemet, who? Kemet, Egyptian? Because these are not of Yah. For his name is Yah. For you shall worship no other El. Ain't got to do with no skin complexion. Yes. For Yahuwah, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous El. These thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and they go a whoring after their what? Ails, their gods, and do sacrifice unto their gods. And one call thee, and thou eat of his sacrifice. So it ain't about they, they, their race, it's about the El they serve. If I'm in a black woman, I'm married. I ain't, I ain't getting married no more. I'm, I'm straight for the next 70, 80 years. 24, 60 more to go. But you, or anybody else on here who's not married, don't involve yourself with somebody who don't serve y'all. Don't be so freaky in your flesh. You just got to get you some and you just do anything. No. Don't be deceived by the adversary. Why would you be afraid or ashamed 
to serve Yah in front of people. And why would you allow it to make you mad or angry? Because they don't serve Yah, you're willing to compromise for some booty. For some money. For a position. For some fame. Wow! How shallow is your mind? Least them could covenant with with the inhabitants of the land, and they go a horde after their ales. Now, what what was uh, you say? Look up uh, at the battle. Awesome. Altars. Miss Beach. Altar. Look up in uh, you might get more understanding from uh, the phone or after. Oh, this is another word. Is a bach sacrifice. To kill, to slay, slaughter. That, 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 that's why in some of these local churches they have what they call so called called an altar. And you go into the altar, you pray, and you put money on the altar. They made it a mockery out of the word of Yah. And our brothers and sisters in, in, in these in these black churches are ignorantly worshiping a false mm -hmm. idol. Thinking they're worshiping Yah. Because they don't take them to take their times to read the Syrian poles, trees, uh, or, 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 or Asherah pole, grove, uh, trees. You, 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 it's from the root word you can compare. It's from the word Ashir, which means. Um, Straight, wide, it seems efficient to be level, right, happy, fickle, to go on this prosperous. So it's not time out there. Well, How do you go back? That's, that's the root word. That's, that's everything. That's everything in the sense of uh, what, like, uh, what, that, the mitzvah, that, that baphomet, the things like that. Right. And so you bring yourself to these things, present things to these sanding stones, and you expect for it to yield you something. I'm just asking. Right. This and, Easter. And, yes. And I was just asking because he was real specific. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it seems like you're doing the same thing. And, and honestly, you do. He's showing us ways that it's done. And, and the biggest one for me was just the altar. Right. And look, look at this one. Yeah. This the Phoenician goddess, yeah. all them breasts on the body, mm -hmm. the goddess of fertility. No, Asher, what does this, this represent? This represent Easter? Asher is, or it's Starte. Right. You, uh, which one of the, one of the prophets, where it specifically talks about her, the male figure and her. Right. They were laid waste. Right. And check, some, and, and check this out too. That that's um still goes on today. Yeah, but it, I mean it's an exodus, and it, it you can continue to to break that word down or to dig even further to specifics, and it gave us where to start. I right. just wanted to see those right. things. Right. He said, "Don't make don't make a covenant deal, and that's just, don't do these things." Then he comes back. Because these right here are things they do out of sacrifices and serving Yah, and they go in the horn. He said, keep the feast. We ain't got to go through these feasts, you know, uh, too, 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 too deep. But he said this because of what Aaron did. No, you, you don't keep no feast enough to no care. You don't do Easter. You don't do Thanksgiving. You don't do Christmas. We so we don't want Big Mama them to get mad at us. My Mama them would get upset. Cause we ain't coming to the house on Christmas. I go to the family. I go to my family and celebrate holidays. They call me crazy. Keep his commandments. I'm doing what the father say. The feast of unleavened bread shall you keep. That he told you. That's why he said. I'm, I'm, this is why I told you to keep. The feast of unleavened bread shall I keep seven days. Thou shalt eat unleavened bread as I commanded thee in the in the time in the month of what? A bee. When I, this, this is what you keep. 
And every child that opened the womb, the matrix, not Neo in uh, 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 Morpheus, what's his name? Morpheus? It's, it's the womb, the Rechem, the womb. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. The matrix, the womb. Right, I know, okay. that's why I said it. <laughs> but that's what it's, supposed to be. it's mine. Right. Mm. Mm. And all that open the matrix. Listen, whether it be the cattle, the ox, or the, the male, even us, we all belong to Yah. And doing these things take these and us from Yah. These animals are mine. Not those idols. You keep my feast, my appointed times, my Shabbat, my set apart days, the feast of weeks, the first of fruits, the wheat of harvest, the feast of ingathering. Yeah, and we 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 can um everything is just dealing with uh um what we've read in the uh, in Corinthians in the, in the New Testament. We have to keep the feast. We have to obey Yah. We have to do as He said. When you look at Samuel. You got started late, so y'all got to do the time. Yeah, I got enough time. Okay. Samuel 13. Why you going there? Um, thought about the mercy that was even extended again to Aharon. Because even though he did brought them out of Egypt, preparation time before, as he called Moshe, preparation time in between getting them prepared to leave and him appointing Aaron or Aaron as his uh, as as his mouthpiece and Moshe putting him in position to it, it also shows that we can be called by Yah and Yah use us profoundly and it also shows how we have to be extremely careful by getting beside ourselves, leaning back to the covenant of the land, which theirs was of, of, of Egypt. They, their, their time, they were subject to being slaves in Egypt. That, that, they that, were. You're right. That's why some of us, some of us need to come out of our jobs. So, and stop doing some things that depend upon me. True. And, 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 and as we look at it, for, for y'all to bring back up to Moses the covenant of the land being specific, very, very true. And we can reference and look at Babylon then and now and being in covenant with it. That y'all even looked over his, his failure to remain in position and keep that priest role set apart mm. and because he was willing to tell the truth he looked over it and not only did he beg of uh put himself in a place of of, of uh, humbleness to y'all but he asked because he was left to do a specific thing he let the gate down he dropped the guard and he showed his covenant that he was still tied he to got, that he got, it was he in got his mind. yeah it was his mind <laughs> that had not truly been made up. And right. I think of the mercies of Yah because I have been guilty. Well, the, my actions show, well, my actions show what my covenant still was. Even though I've been chosen by Yah, we have the indwelling of the Ruah. His actions were just un ridiculous to be a man of the cloth. A man of who? A man of... The, as in the set apart ephod, the, the priestly guards that they wore. And that's what I'm saying of, of the wearing the, 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 the uh, he went before the people of Yah. He did a specific thing. So his garments or men of the garments, the set apart garments that was chosen specifically with detail. I mean, you look at this and you look like, how does he get like that? Right. But you just explained it after we went through the scriptures and looked at it. 
he still had a covenant with the land and it was in his mindset. Right. But he repented. Right. So it made me, you know, think about that because we even see Moshe, you know, you know, do some things. And y'all mm. use him profoundly. And I say, you know, so that makes me just remember that you subject. We're subject to revert at any time if we do not stand guard and do the shamar right. and, and gauge our life truthfully by the word and not compromise it. Right. Because I've never seen that portion oh, having the name. covenant with the land still be in covenant with it. Right. Not like that. You gotta break it. You gotta break up with it. You gotta be willing. To, you gotta be willing to give things up for the most high and step into his provision and allow him to do it for you and not not depend upon the world. Most of us can't do that. It, it, it's difficult uh, for people because they, they a lot of a lot of us don't have faith. You know, and the thing is we gotta have faith in Yah's word and do what he says. We can't it, you can't go on what you see. You can't be dependent upon what I hear. You gotta trust in him. Uh, 2 Samuel 22, 10 says, he bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub, y'all, a, a, a malach, anointed cherub that, that, that protects y'all set of pardons. Um, so a cherub is an angel or a messenger. Uh, and did fly, and he was seen upon the wings of the wind. And he made dark provisions round about him, dark borders and thick clouds of skies. Through the brightness before him were coals of fire kindled. And Yahuwah thundered from the Shemayin, the most high uttered his voice. He sent out arrows to scatter them, lightness and discomfort them. And the channels of the sea appeared the foundation of the world. He discovered at the rebuking of he were discovered at the rebuking of the correction, the rebuking of Yahuwah at the blast of the breath of his nostrils. Gerara, which means chiding. Oh, we got the bumping. <laughs> At the chiding of Yahuwah, at the branch of the y'all come out there bumping and busting things up. He said, from above, he took me and drew me out of many waters and delivered me from the strong enemy and from them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. And they prevented me in the day of their calamity, but Yahuwah was my stay. And he brought me forth into a large place, delivered me because he delighted in me. Yahuwah awarded me according to my righteousness, according to my things in my hands, have he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of Yahuwah and have not wickedly departed from my ear. Check something out. Did, did, did David mess up? Did David, uh, he did wrong, right? Bathsheba, yes. Solomon, the census. But yeah, he's talking like this right here. For all of his judges were before me and, and he, he called his, he said he's righteous. Why? Because whatever he done, there was nothing he done that was so big that he can't turn to y'all for forgiveness, for strength, for guidance, and for refuge. You know what, y'all? Let, 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 me, let me explain something to y'all. The adversary is deceitful. He is broken down and, and trying to make us lose the concept of family. Family don't throw family away. Miss Pacha. Yahuwah is our family. Because we do wrong, he don't he whoops us like a father doesn't think they're a child when they do wrong, and he corrects us. It don't mean he's done away with us because we did some bad things. We just stood there, oh, you shouldn't have done that. No, you didn't see y'all bring up you, you, you did not see y'all bring up his relationship with David about breaking up with you. He told he told Saul, now look here, I'll holler at you. Because Saul's bad heart. Wrong. So I had more confidence and trust in the people than y'all. But those of us who love y'all, he's going to help you out. David's not saying this out of self-righteousness. He's not saying this prayer out of, uh, forget what he's done. He said his prayer out of mercy, that y'all has given him mercy. For all his judgments were before me. And, and, and as his statues, I did not depart from them. I was also upright before him, and I have kept myself from iniquity. Therefore, Yahuwah have recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanliness of my hands, excuse me, the cleanliness in his eyesight, my cleanliness in eyesight, with the merciful thou wilt show thyself merciful. Let me explain something to you. With the what? 
the merciful. Do y'all know what that means? Show y'all some. Let's set apart with the, 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 the pious one. Do y'all know what the scripture says? Bless all the merciful for they should obtain mercy. What's one thing? What's one thing that associated with mercy? Grace. Forgiveness. He gives forgiveness to those who forgive, those who have mercy. Oh, Mashiach said, "Forgive us as we do what." Forgive, forgive those. those, right? Mm -hmm. And then he said, "If you don't forgive those, what happens?" Your Father in heaven will forgive you. Right. With the merciful, thou will show thyself merciful. And with the upright man, thou will show thyself upright. With the pure, thou will show thyself pure. And with the froward, thou will show thyself unsavory. He he gonna get to he he gonna get to he gonna get the froward man, the quiche. He gonna get the crooked man, the perverse, distorted man, the one that's wrong, doing wrong. He gonna thou will show thyself unsavory. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. You're gonna you you're gonna show yourself forward toward him. You're gonna you're gonna holler him, make him put him off in a struggle. Why? Because you gotta live right for the most high, y'all. And the fifty people that was saved, but that eyes are upon the haughty, that thou mayest bring them down. For thou art my limb, O Yahuwah, and the ill the Yahuwah with tight with light my darkness, for by thee I have run through a troop. For my El have I leaped over a wall. As for Elohim, his way is his way is what? Whole. Tau mean. His way is perfect. His way is, is, is complete. His way is full of integrity. His way is the upright way. His way is whole. The word of Yahuwah is tried. He is a buckler to all. Of them that trust in him. What does the buckler do? It holds something up, right? It keeps things together. So Yah is. But who is El? Save Yahuwah. Who is the mighty one? Save Yahuwah. Who is a rock? Save our El. Elohim is my strength and power. And he makes my way to whole. Perfect. Complete. He made my feet like hinds feet and set me up on the high places. Hallelujah. Teaches my hands to war. Teach me how to defend myself, protect myself. So the boy still is broken in my arms. I can defend myself, protect myself. And the boy still is broken in my arms. Everybody wants you to be so weak. I want you to fight for yourself. No. You better get down. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation. And thy, and thy gentleness have made me great. You has enlarged my step under me, so that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my, I have pursued my enemies and destroyed them. I went and got back and got my guess good back, because you didn't help me go get the good back. And turn out again until I have consumed them. And I have consumed them and wounded them. And they could not arise. Yea, they are falling under my feet. Why? For Yahuwah has girded me with strength to battle. Them that rose up against me. Had, uh, thou has to do under me. And y'all will do you the same way. <clears throat> I think it's patience, y'all, and faith and waiting on y'all. <clears throat> it's also giving me the necks of, of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. They looked, but were, they looked, but there were none to say, even unto Yahuwah, but he answered them not. Then I did beat them as a small, a small dust of the earth. I did step them as the mire of the street and did spread them abroad. Man, that has also delivered me from the strivings of my people, my own people. And that has kept me to be the head of the heathen, of a people which I knew not shall serve me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. All this because of Yah for David. Most have to respect the person here, bless you. We're we, we not. Kings over here in this land, as far as you know, having a, a palace, but it don't mean that Yah's word is changing our life. You still have authority, you still have dominion, you still can walk in righteousness and be obedient to Yah's word, and then submit to you, trust Yah. And as soon as they hear, they shall be obedient to me, strangers shall fade away, and they shall be afraid out of their cl close places. Yahweh, live them, and blessed be my rock. 
and exalted be, be the heir of the rock of my salvation. It is Elohim that avengeth me, and that bringeth down the people under me, and that bringeth me forth from my enemies, that thou hast lifted up, out, that thou also hast lifted, up, lifted me up on high, above them that rose up, and against me thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Hallelujah. Therefore, I will give thanks unto thee, O Yahuwah, among the heathen. And I will sing praises unto thy name. Because you done all this good stuff. In my, in my hard times, in my difficult times, in my battles, in my fights, things I've gone through, you've always been there for me. Gave me shalom, protected me, provided for me. Gave me ideas, gave me understanding, that helped me escape. You've always been there. He said, he is the tower of salvation for his king. A show of mercy to his anointed. Hallelujah unto David and to his seed forevermore. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, two more scriptures, Yah. We're going to read those. Hallelujah. We're going to read Romans uh, 9. What shall we say then? Uh, all the things we've read and studied and prayed and seen today. Uh, is there unrighteous is there unrighteousness in Elohim? Man, y'all forbid. And uh, Yah is not unrighteous because he punishes you for your disobedience or because he chooses you for a, a certain time as this or have you in a certain place. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness in Elohim? No, 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 not, not at all. God forbid, God forbid, God forbid. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion, because Moses wouldn't pray. And Yah gave him a prayer, but he spared him as well and blessed him. So then it is not of him that will of, nor of him that run of, but of El that show of mercy. It's Yah that shows the mercy and allows you to make it, that keeps you from being consumed, that has you where you are. Don't forget that, and definitely don't forget to get beside yourself. So with that being said, I'm done. Hallelujah. Let's, let's pray. Hallelujah. So, Almighty, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your loving kindness, y'all. And we thank you for your goodness. Hallelujah. We ask of you, Almighty, in the name of Husha Hamashiach, to help us to take heed to the words that we spoke and taught. Yeah, we thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your loving kindness toward us. And thank you for opening your word to us, giving us a better understanding. Teaching us how to live our faith, how to depend upon you, how to trust in you. Thank you for even allowing me to teach your people. I count it a privilege and an honor, y'all. Now I know that it's only you. So we love you and give you the esteem in the name of Yahush. We magnify you. Hallelujah. Praise y'all. Praise y'all. Praise y'all. Praise y'all.